So last where we left off, I believe I was... All right, I was on Route 10. <laughs> 210. Uh, we were on our way to the... Oh yeah, we are on our way to the third badge. We did not get there. We were close to getting there, but we did not get there. Um, I know we caught a lot. We did a lot. I know we fought Team Galactic early on. We beat them. But it's mostly just like running around from route to route, going to different cities. I know we learned how the their Pokemon to walk with us. So that was new. Um, I was thinking actually about changing my lineup a bit. So I had Mischievous on me, and I was actually debating if I actually want to keep her in my lineup. So I don't think I'm actually going to do that. I like Bronzor. I think I want to keep Bronzor. I do feel like I need like more attackers. But I'm not sure if I like that with Mischievous. So look at Bronzor. I'm like, Bronzor is beefy. Defensive what? I mean, defensively. Sort of like Growl, but like even beefier. <laughs> the problem is he doesn't have much attack. So his attack is very weak. Speed's very low. Um, I was looking at Mischievous and I'm like, I don't know if I really want to use Mischievous right now. So I was actually thinking maybe we go back to Ponyta. Until maybe I get either like another Pokemon I'd be interested in. Or I don't know. I was just looking at it and I was like, because I know Mischievous requires like a Dust Stone, I think it's called, to evolve it. And I don't have the stone yet. I don't know how long it's going to take to get the stone. <laughs> exactly. And I don't know. I was just wasn't exactly sure. Hey, Patty. Thank you for the resub. I appreciate that. How are you doing? What about that? Happy, happy four months. Bought a 3D printer? Holy crap. That's a big event spent. What kind of printer is it? I'm not familiar with them now I think about it. <laughs> you could name any type of 3D printer, I'd be like, that's amazing. I actually don't know much about them. But it's awesome though. Based on 3D printers you could get. It's a really good model though. I'm happy for you. And yeah, thank you for the four months. Appreciate that. Where to? Oh, I was gonna trade one to my brother. That was very I'm actually debating whether or not I actually still want to use Mr. Vince. I, I might. It's what, 47 or four? Uh, actually, I am good. Just for now. I'm, I'm I can't decide. I'm, I'm undecisive. We're going to go with it, though. We'll pick our berries that we already planted. That was $100, so it will either be the best 100 bucks I've ever spent or the worst. I love that feeling. That feeling of just like, I don't know what to expect. I hope for the best. I ended up. Uh, that's awesome, though. I ended up buying a new power supply for my computer. My computer's been acting up a little bit. And I'm pretty sure it's because my power supply unit might be going out. I've had this one for like years. Pretty much since I built my first computer, I've used the exact same power supply. I've had no issues with it. And I've been noticing like my USBs, like multiple USBs keep going in and out. And I'm thinking, I'm like, this is a little weird. And the more I'm looking at it, the more I'm thinking, I'm like, I think it's actually the power. My computer has been acting up. It could also just be the actual drive itself, but I'm like, you know what? If it's been about like seven or eight years, I should probably upgrade it regardless. <laughs> Especially if I want to get like a new uh, graphics card eventually. So I decided to just buy a new one now before anything too bad happens. Um, but yeah, that, that was pretty much my own personal investment today. That's all I did. <laughs> Can I just wire them all at once? That just happened. 
That did happen. I didn't know you could do that. So I could literally just plant all my berries and then fire them. That's so much better. Oh, hey, Pony Dolls. <laughs> Speaking of Pony Dolls. Uh, you also bought one of those? Which one did I get? I bought a Corsair A50. Also, one of the gold editions. I got A50 Wadge. I forget the exact model number, but I know it was like the 2021 version. Okay, I can't control this bike. I gotta get off this. So I know it's probably gonna be a, like a little bit of an overkill with that much power, but also I don't care. <laughs> Wanna be a little future proof. But I'm happy with it. Oh, let's go on Psyduck's. Psyduck are standing firm, they aren't inclined to move at all. Alright, let's get this mischievous following us again. All right, so we're in 215. All right, I'll put some money on it, why not? But I'm happy with my purchase. I, I'm like, I didn't need anything. <laughs> I, I knew it was gonna be like overly expensive. With the one I got, I'm like, I'm pretty sad. Like my current one's like at 650 wattage. Which is also more than enough. Um, a treasure hunter today. Yeah. For what everything I have, I'm feeling like the wedge might be catching up to me a little bit. Oh, you went all out. <laughs> That's still good. <laughs> in water oh i don't even have any fire types never mind um yeah that, that's a that's a good buy i might be able to win this he's gonna be close <laughs> And now I'm not so sure. If we just kept attack back and forth, yeah, it would be fun. Uh, I don't really know. I'm not sure if I can trust myself. Oh, there we go. I think I figured out the problem after I order and it is that I need to add a second cable for my graphics card instead of using the same one. Okay. Yeah, I do know. There's someone with my current one that I knew it wasn't going to be compatible. I think it was the cable. Like with like future ones. I forget exactly what it was, but. I'm not sure if it's the exact same issue you maybe had. That might have been. Uh, what's this do? This relentless attack does massive damage to a target affected by a status condition. Do we have any status conditions? None. Uh, I guess we'll get rid of it. We don't have any status conditions, but we can. And if we never do, it actually this will be really good. We cannot fight you. Quack indeed. Hi, Number. How you doing? I hope your uh, Turkey Thanksgiving Day went all the well. I was going to say Turkey Day, and I'm like, no, nah, everyone has turkey on Thanksgiving. I hope your Thanksgiving went well. Sturdy? You do have sturdy. How dare. I 
I get my switch Monday? Your switch? Wait, wait, hold up. Back up a couple steps. Did you get a new switch? Like a Nintendo switch? I'm like, okay, let's go back three steps. So I thought you had one. I'll probably buy Pokemons next Friday. Hell yes. Join on the Pokemons. I've only had a Switch Lite. Oh, yeah, this is a huge upgrade for you. Which Switch did you get? Did you get like the standard Switch or did you get like the Switch OLED? I have curiosity. And no, honestly, if you're playing it on TV, it doesn't even matter. OLED is even better. <laughs> So I'm like, if you're playing on a TV, it doesn't even matter. But if you're playing portable, maybe. <laughs> That's awesome. Should I just catch this ponytail? It's better than the one I think I already have. Never mind. Um, yeah, we're gonna run. Maybe. Okay. So the 3070 Ti has a total of 18 plugs. You can do it all from one core, like I did for my 2070 Super. But I think it needs a lot more power. Okay. So it wasn't like your current one wasn't providing enough power. So essentially with the upgrade plus more cables will give you more power for the graphics card. That makes sense. Cause that's what I was kind of worried about with mine. Like if I ever got one eventually. <laughs> 14 on 18. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Uh, probably play portable a good amount. I'm excited. This is my first console in a long time. I'm excited for you. That's a huge investment. I'm happy for you. Did you find a good deal for it? Or are you just like, I just want this? <laughs> I slow down and stop all the time. Sure, I'm the only human after all. My only issue with my Switch is that I rarely ever play a portable. So I thought about getting the Switch OLED. And I saw my original, like, I have the original Switch. And I don't know if you knew, um, but there was the, uh, like, how am I gonna do in this fight? I think it's a fighting trainer. <laughs> this surface might be better. <laughs> uh, but no, uh, like the original Switch got like remade a little. Like, it was like a slight update they never really announced. And they made like some like quality improvements. And we just got TM payback. And then they released a Switch OLED. <laughs> and the difference between the Switch OLED and like the Switch version two, it's like very minimal. But the Switch version one that I have compared to the OLED, there's like a little bit, it's like a little bit better. Like it's not significant or maybe not even noticeable with TVs. But it's like a little bit better. Especially when it's portable, because the battery life is going to be better. Um, so I thought about it, but I, I ultimately decided not to. That was me. I'm really excited for you though. <laughs> that was just my somewhat provided console history that I just wanted to provide, that's all. This might hurt? Yeah, it's gonna be a pain. I was like, can I at least get to see how triable it's going to be? That was actually pretty good. <laughs> that was critical. That's not good. I will try confusion. Glad I tried confusion. <laughs> Do you know which Pokemon you're going to be going with the number? Like, have you thought about your starter? Yeah, the, um... Which mods? So I feel like if I ever get one, I think I want to get like a 3080 Ti. The 3070 Ti, I don't, I don't know. I don't think I would really know it's a huge difference based on what I play. Um, but whenever I do uh, get one, I don't know. I keep telling myself I'm going to eventually get one, and then every time I try to get one, I'm like. I'm finding it for like, like on like retail price is always so expensive. 
And I think I only want to get like somewhere between like 800 and like a thousand. Like I don't want to spend any more than that. I'm always finding the very expensive ones. That's the ones I can get. And then when I think about it, I'm like, I can know I can get it. But what would be my purpose? <laughs> so I always hold off. Uh, is that Pokemon's head of... Wait, is the Pokemon's head a head of garlic? You're talking about the one I have? I have my metal guy on the left there? That you can clearly see? Floating? <laughs> Are you talking about... Like... That guy? Like... This one? That one right there? <laughs> oh, the Ryu one's on my chop. Garlicmon, I choose you. Or wait, mine is a Jijimon, whatever. The Ryu one. Uh, that's my chop. Uh, I don't think so. I never really thought about that. <laughs> I'm gonna have to look again when my chop comes back out. Before my chop. What did we fight before my chop? Oh, Minotite. Uh, you're talking about like his ears on the side? This thing. <laughs> Speed of the devil. Uh, yeah, it's kind of like, like a garlic, like, uh, clove. Now I'm thinking about it, yeah. A little bit. Do you look like he had garlic on his shoulders? <laughs> yeah, that weird thing. Yeah, it's a meditate. It's a psychic fighting type. Um, I see what you mean. I'm freaking out. If I ever get a... Well, I actually already caught one. But if I ever can... If I ever... I should be here that big. It's like a truck out there. Um, have I ever like train one and get one leveled up? At least stat wise, I think I might aim at like Clover or something. <laughs> if you look at, if you look it in the eyes, you'll have bad breath for the next ten years. Oh no, I already did it. Oh wait, the power defeated giants on this plate. Oh, that's a good plate. Plates in general are always good. That's awesome. I thought we fought you. Crap. I didn't heal. That's fine. It's not fine. But it's fine. Uh, if you look in the... Uh, <laughs> yeah. I... My breath's horrible. <laughs> it's already bad. It's, it's too late. Also, I forgot to grab my uh, paralysis. So that's great. We'll give it, we'll give it one turn. It's taunting, that's fine. Damn it. Wait, what move are you using? Revenge. I say, I'm not gonna do a ton of damage. I am so yeah, we're going for it. Come on, you got this. I don't think you got this. You got this! Possibly. We're good. Okay. We good. I'm getting a beer to drown my fear. <laughs> don't drown the Reaper. I don't know where that blue oyster cold reference came from and how it relates. But don't. Or do. I mean, if you do, just drown responsibly in your alcohol. Yep. Anyway, let's look for someone else to fight. Reapers love PBR. <laughs> yeah, they do. Actually, my brother, um, he finally tried the this uh, coffee stout that he had uh, for a while. <laughs> we ended up getting, well, he ended up getting a, uh, it was like a pumpkin spice uh, coffee stout. They ended up getting like right around uh, Halloween time. We went to a Halloween party. He won it. We tried it. And I gotta say, I... I, I didn't I didn't taste much pumpkin if I'm being completely honest. But it was good. Coffee stouts, love those. It was good. 
Yeah, my hustle is pretty much is either coffee stouts or IPAs. It's pretty much what I'll find in the fridges. <laughs> or Coronas. And usually the Coronas are my dad's. Thank you for the hydration reminder. <sighs> my doctor actually, when I, I went to draw blood today, Told me the same thing. He uh when I got there, he's like, Did you hydrate before you get here? Did you drink some water? He says I had to fast for about twelve hours the day after Thanksgiving. And uh I did fast. I, I did not drink water. Kinda of just woke up, took a shower, got ready, and just went. <laughs> but uh Do I need a water or anything? It's already bothered. No, I'm thinking about it. Guess I'll play it safe and do it anyway. Yeah, to do it anyway. Okay, good enough. It's weird, the rain doesn't actually water the soil. Alright. <laughs> How dare you! In your opinion. No one asked you. <laughs> I'll drink whatever. If I'm just giving beer, I'm like, sure, I'll drink it. <laughs> just a try out once. I want to drink tree sap owl going through the woods. All right. Let's see how it is. Fine. I'll enjoy my tree sap. Thank you very much. It'll be quite sappy and quite IPA. IPA tastes like tree sap. Heineken tastes like urine. Well, I don't disagree with the Heineken. <laughs> PVR says like gold. Like actual gold. Not like a figure of speech gold, like it's actual gold. Like you can taste the uh whatchamacallit. I'm just gonna do hand gestures so I can think of something to say. Gold meaning liquefied livers. <laughs> There's my job, by the way. I think my job just has like, uh, I like to think it's like rocky braids or something. Oh, this might be a problem. Or not. I swear that's how they make them. It's like when people complain about hot dogs being made out of pagans. <laughs> They're still delicious. Yep. Love those ball parking. This is, you know. <laughs> That's <was> foul. <laughs> but I know what you mean. <laughs> I think everywhere I go now, I'm just gonna refer to it as that. <laughs> you have a hot dog? No, I'm having picking this. Kosher, right? Don't have to believe this happened, but a loss is a loss. Deal with it. How was your Thanksgiving, by the way? Is it relaxing for the most part? Oh, you missed your face. What's up? <laughs> Suddenly howled? What does that mean? Alright. Just nodding. Alright, nodding in a room. Just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Jogging is good for you, but you have to make sure you're not overdoing it. They really like to throw the jogging stuff at you in this game. Just in this one particular area, there's just joggers everywhere. Hmm, I'm so sorry. Tear up the shock wave. Cool. I uh, used to throw down hard on $1 uh, hot dogs at checkers. Everyone would say, oh, there's this and that in them. You don't have to eat them. I'm like, um, they're one doll hair, bro. Please. You are right, though. Uh, I think I was say about laying around so I get better. Sure, you are. Oh, there's two of them. I didn't even see that second one. Ace trainers. I don't know. They have an ace face. Oh crap, that was actually a tough up one. Alright. Uh, Thanksgiving was good. Just ate, played some games, chilled, let the turkey carcass at my mom's house, so no st stock to make. That was yours? Mostly the same. Uh, I left that at my mom's house, which is where I live. So, I still have that. Uh, the the uh, turkey carcass. I actually had some for lunch today. It was quite lunchy. And maybe a little for dinner. We have a lot of turkey still left. We did have some pie as well. We, we ended up having pumpkin pie and apple pie. And today I had some apple pie. It was, it was, it was just, wow, so good. Make some good stack from those bones, brother. Hell yeah. Hey Lang, how's it going? Welcome on in. How you doing? Oh, hey Gary Dust. I wasn't ready for that one. I think I can beat it with what I have. I go after the Glam Meow though. Yeah, we have ancient power. Let's go with that. You know, walking on sunshine. Well, well, good. <laughs> That's how it goes. Oh, oh man. I was thinking maybe I should just go after the uh that's yeah, just double team that guard does. Took the hit? Oh hey y'all. Uh, I didn't realize that ability I had. Go up more. <laughs> I should have used Gyro Ball. That's okay. Oh, actually, no, no, it's fine too. Use Confuse Ray on you. I'm glad you're walking on Sunshine. That's. Oh, crap. Oh, that's awesome. How oh, can I be confused? Oh, I'm in trouble. Uh, that's where you are buying. Seemed a little worried. I feel worried. You should be worried. It's tough and now so he wouldn't feel so sad and he just just dies anyway. <laughs> that's so sad. Oh no. That's so sad. And I'm flinching. I'm like, I'm just like, all the horrible things are happening. All right, I think I'm gonna switch out my bronze ore. I don't think it really matters, but we switch them out. Get growling. Felt a little reckless there, but I'm like, I can do this. Like, we got this.
I like the animation for Waterfall. Not gonna lie. Thank you for the hydration room, my darling. And that rim shot, thank you. Think we're good? Maybe. <laughs> I just realized I never put out a message, but we went live on Discord. <laughs> yeah, move one sec. I was just looking at him. I'm just thinking about him like I never posted anything on my Discord. Okay, I'm actually a little worried. That's weird. Look at that layer. Uh Kadabra. Let's take this out. I'm just talking to myself. <laughs> Don't worry about me. <laughs> Things are happening and it's to me and uh, forgetting everything. I I might have to get something looked at, if I'm being completely honest. Question. If anyone knows about this. Have y'all ever just woken up with a bunch of bites on your hand? Have curiosity. Like, you went to bed, everything's fine, you woke up, and then your hand, like... You find like a couple on your one hand, and then maybe like something on your ankle? The reason I'm asking this is because this happened to me a couple weeks ago. And it disappeared. You know, it felt like it was like a regular like, mosquito bite or something like that. That's how, how it felt. Disappeared, didn't have to worry about it anymore. Uh, last week, no, two weeks ago, I guess now, uh, woke up, same thing happened again. I had like a random bite on my finger. And it was huge, and I don't know where it went, came from. After maybe a couple days on its own, it just disappeared. Uh, dating back to just now, realizing, <laughs> uh, I just found like a random like a little, little bump on my hand. I don't think you can really see it. That's like a mosquito bite. That's like a big mosquito bite. I'm actually kind of concerned now. <laughs> Why it actually keeps happening. So I'm actually curious if anyone actually knows about this. And now that I'm thinking about it, I might have to get a doctor look at this. This is a little weird. Because it's, it's like the third time I've seen this happen to me now. Oh crap. I like the city. I don't remember it all that well. Fieldstone City, hewn from rock. Say, this can't be a rock's gym. Just saw Dawn up there. Uh, business at the style shop is really booming. There's a style shop here? So can I like, decorate myself? Just can't go, excuse me. All I know is that we finally made it to the gym. It took a very long time to get to this gym, but we finally got here. So maybe we'll get batch three. I mean, we're gonna get batch three. Maybe we'll get batch four today. If you can get up to batch four, that'd be pretty cool. What are you doing? Uh, mainly the gym leader is a real cutie, but don't let that fool you. Even grownups have their trouble with her. I'm trying to remember Maylene, she's fighting? If you use him to fly, you'd be instantly whisked to any town you visited before. So means we're getting fly here. That is fantastic. Nice title. Thank you. 
How you doing, Shoop? Welcome on. It's been a bit. How is everything? How how is your things coming? How's everything? Team Glass is building bugs me. I can't sleep with it over me. Oh, that's horrendous. Uh, those thorny things on the ball on the building. Are they supposed to be fashionable? I think I'm mad at this with this game. Uh, I'm looking to put more time into it this upcoming week because I'm going to be taking the week off from work. So starting today, uh, I'm actually off from work. So I'm excited to get well, at least put more time into this. I haven't put a ton of time, but I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> Think it was all right over yours? It was all right, too. We, we had a couple, like my brother's family came over and then it was just like a small gathering, nothing huge. We got the bus cell. Got some ultra balls. Let's say I haven't even been to a city to buy great balls where I got ultra balls. <laughs> we'll just stick with the great balls for now. Uh, guarantees escape. All right, I'll hold off on everything else. Stick with the super potion. Maybe we get some revives. Don't really have any. Perfect, actually. Just do that. <laughs> do that, move on. Put 50 hours? I haven't played today. That's that's good. I think I'm about I don't know, like 10 hours? 8 hours? How many hours am I in? Almost 10. <laughs> I can tell there's gonna be a lot to do. But that's awesome though. Yeah, what are you guys doing up here? Uh, hey you, yeah you. This is Team Galactic's warehouse, ain't no playground for kids. Well, okay, then I'm going to the gym. Yeah, I had a small family gathering. You know, gather turkey, desserts. Nothing too extravagant. But it was a very chill day. That's all, I think that's all we really needed. <laughs> Uh, I've nearly completed the national decks, and all I need is a few more pearl exclusives and most of the daily encounters. Nice. It's a mysterious meteorite that fell from the stars. All right. Tick tock, tick tock. Swings like a pendulum at the same interval. How beautiful. I'll give this to you. No thanks. I tried them. Uh, I've been trying to find a way around the 24 hour time freeze on changing time system or system time. Don't really know that. Yeah, I haven't looked too much into that stuff yet. I think I've saw like a couple things on like the underground stuff, but that's really it. I'm probably looking to get into more of that, maybe. Wow, thank you, Mr. Viz. <laughs> Uh, maybe once I get like past post game. See something about Wildlands? Huh. Where did it go? I lost my lens, but without my lens, how can I search? I forgot about this guy. Uh, if you have stones, it's the of stone. We even have meteorites. Nice. This has nothing to do with anything but take this technical machine. I like his honesty. It's just like, listen, like it doesn't matter. Just take this. Yeah, if I move, we're going to use this nasty plot. Pokemon special attack start bully increases. I mean, enjoy your visit to the Veilstone, the city of Wellstone. <laughs> well, you know, it's done. I just hate that this is the only, this is the one thing that actually works right. <laughs> oh, time. Can you give a massage? I need to be canary. Where are you, sticker? Okay, cool. Is this his boyfriend is a scarf guy in Pastoria City? They take strolls together with their Pokemon. Those two are really close. 
As you see, any percent speed run is alright. I haven't fucked out anything. That's insane. I'm assuming they probably use glitches to do that. But still, either way, that's 50 minutes. <laughs> 50 minutes is very, very quick. It's pretty cool, reminds me of athletics. Huh? Trainers. Oh, wow. All right, that, that is a pretty interesting way to speed run. I did hear about item duping. I know about that. I saw a tweet about that, I think. Uh, are we going to get in the gym? Keep getting tougher and tougher, don't you? Me, well, I went shopping at the department store, and I mean, well, of course, I've been working on my Pokedex, but, uh, well, I'll catch you later. All right, good talk, Dom. Bye-bye. <laughs> All right, so this is... Okay, excuse me. I was trying to remember if this was fighting. Yeah, I heard the name Melee, and I'm like, I think she was fighting. Yeah, 100% fighting. Hey there, how's it going, champ the bee? Uh, the gym leader uses fighting type Pokemon. She'll be a terror against normal type Pokemon, but, and, but it's a big but between you and me. Alien, the gym leader, said flying, psychic, and fairy type Pokemon could be a real trouble for her. Interesting. Uh, okay, so let's go. Oh, well, pretty much the big Pokemon in this gym is going to be Mischievous, Bronzor, and Staravia. So let's actually. I don't know. Let's get mischievous up here. My stick with Bronzor for now. See how we do. Is Bronzor still gonna have that weakness with defense? Well, not defense, uh, steel type. <laughs> half, it's like normal fighting moves are gonna be normal damage. Just because it's half not effective and half super effective. Machoke. That's insane. I'll be able to do all that. How much are we able to figure out so quickly, too? That's that's the insane part. And that's bad. Let's get what's your stats. Now I got stats here. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so we're up to 52. No bronze we're going, like a 17, I think. <laughs> An attack. Yeah, 19. Not very good. Uh yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's do mischievous. I've gotten to the point that in order to pass the time waiting for daily encounters, I'm rooting. I'm routing all obtainable Pokemon. Okay. Are you just trying to use like the old fashioned just catch them all method? Or have you thought about doing trades? I saw somewhere on a video where you're doing no trades. Okay. Yeah, I was starting to see that people are starting to do like uh, link code methods for certain trades. If they have certain Pokemon, like exclusivity wise, just to follow the Pokedex. Yeah. It's the only other thing I really know. I haven't looked up too many things about this game. <laughs> Been trying to avoid it until I can get to the post game myself. But I looked up like a couple things around there I've seen. How many are attainable without trades? I did hear that too. Do you? I think I heard you could essentially get the majority of them without trades, if not all of them. Other than maybe like the exclusives, but like a big majority of them can like really just. Yeah, like, like like most of the exclusives you can, but everything else you can do without. There's not really that many exclusives, and most of them are just like evolutions. 
if anything else, we're like looking for yours. Okay, now goes Machop. I think we're good. We're not good. <laughs> Alright, we're keeping Staravia in. I think at this point we're gonna get like a star after. Number goes down pretty hard if we take out a time based encounter, so. Just being able to do all that's actually still pretty insane. Three ninety four but uh, brilliant diamond, three ninety six for shining pearl. So that's it's pretty good. Hey, we're the Karate Squad. What? I will strike a blow for tears with my fist. Hey, the yeah. teak. Exactly. Eight percent is really good. It's, it's insane. It's insanely good. All right, sorry, maybe I like smoke for the most part. I always remember the first time we met. About everything else. There are other things to remember, I would say. This is bad. That's bad. Unless I'm faster. Okay. <laughs> so it's crystal. I remember most of them were pretty low. A good amount of Pokemon leveling up here. Growl is only Leech Seed. Oh man. Uh, <laughs> actually, I think I'm gonna get rid of Growl. Growl. Growth. Trying to focus primarily on like physical attacks with Growl. Meditate. Alright, let's go. To them all. Will you start Avia? The Titan's garlic looking head. But now those numbers are insane. 32. I will say, you, we really do level up very quickly. <laughs> but I'm happy with it. It's not a complaint for me. We evolving? Growl's evolving. I haven't gotten three gems yet, and Growl's already at Tartaria. There we go. Your growl and buff and Torterra. Little big guy. May have a bit of a problem. What kind of problem you got mistake? Lay it on me. He wants to learn earthquake. Yes. <laughs> Goodbye, bite. <laughs> One, two, and poof. Or to the got bite, learned earthquake. I have a thing if you want to get Spiritum somewhere. Well, I, I don't know anything yet, so I'm good right now, but I appreciate that. I should be okay for now. I did see a video. Uh, I think it was a video. I saw something about Spiritum being like a problem to get. I'm good right now, but I appreciate that. I uh, love beer, right? But it's not good warm hot however i am cold and i don't like the idea of drinking a cold beer yeah sure you can post it in the discord thank you appreciate that thanks you
So you're cold. You don't want to drink cold beer. But you don't like warm hot beer. Is there anything else that you can do to warm yourself up before you drink a cold beer? I do have other options. The Cry Quads. Oh, let's see, I love the name. Do you have a heater to warm yourself up or a blanket? And then you can drink the beer. Thank you, Sheep, though. I just saw that. I appreciate it. I'm getting colder as I drink this. I want to be warm. Why can't hot beer be good? I wonder if there's a possibility we can somehow make hot beer good. Like, can we invent this? Or is this already invented and we just don't know about it? Okay, she, you know I can kick this beach ball around my apartment. I will say, if you're kicking it around, make sure there's nothing around that it can break. <laughs> if I had the ingredients, I'd make a hot toddy. They don't on me. I'm actually not familiar with that. Or maybe I am and I just don't know. <laughs> yeah, that might have been a mistake. That was not. Actually, that was. Now, I don't think I can. Oh, I can. All right, well, there you go. All right, so let's push the, that back. That stays. That can go. Okay, so we got that. Let's go fight you. With the cry quads. I do. Life has taught me many times that only breakable things is a bad idea, so we're good to go ham with this beach ball. All right, cool. Just watch your windows. <laughs> That's all I'll say. Hot toddy is like water, lemon, scotch, something. Okay. That sounds tasty. Oh, toddies. Just don't forget your toddies. They're amazing on a cold night. I meant to lock this up. <laughs> Just gets to steal your all, all y'all recipes. Aimed at a very attractive bartender, me. Oh, thank you. Oh, Hot Todd. <laughs> you know what? I would actually believe it was actually made by Hot Todd. And I'm hoping it actually was. Or Todd Hot. Mr. Hot. Todd. Todd Hot. Or hot. Todd hot. Trying to train spawn that attempt work. Poorly Jane spawned to that one. Bye bye. Ed. Hi, my name is Hot Todd and this is my drink. I feel like somehow Hot Topic could probably trademark this and just sell their own beer called Hot Todd. I think it's somehow get like a patent trademark for it. <laughs> Stream out to help pour one just for you. <laughs> Stream out and like, please give me a drink. I've had a long day. Hot Todd to pick. <laughs> exactly. See, the best ideas come out when we're drinking. Simple as that. Or are you hungry for a hot Todd pick? That sounds weird. Lock is he out. Does everyone have all that 32? That was like 36 or 38. I didn't even think about this. I think a Lux Ray. Everyone's evolving. Everyone's online. Definitely thought I turned that off. All right, we got Luxray. Give me a moment. <laughs> so I don't like when that pops up. I 
All right, we're good. That side view. Luxury is like, you don't, you're not even gonna look at my phone. Give me a side view. How you doing? Uh, I've been going wild with drink experimenting. Really wish I could be a baby bartender. How have your experiments actually been going? I meant to mean the axe because you've been making a lot of stuff recently, right? I remember you talk, talk, talking to me about this. Stuttering now. <laughs> talk, talk, talking. <laughs> right, push that back. There's a lot of pushing and sliding we have to do here. I uh, spend most of today working on a spreadsheet of all Pokemon locations and Brilliant Diamond. Nice. How did you end up finishing it? Alright, which one am I going here? Oh, left. We got this, I think. Do I need to heal? I don't think I should have done that. Maybe. No, I shouldn't have. No, we're, we're fine. I supposed to do that? Yeah, no, that's fine. <laughs> Today's lesson. Am I supposed to do everything? <laughs> Alright, so now I can go th that way. Alright, yeah, I got it. I see what I'm supposed to do. Still working on it? Okay. Don't even want tips, I just want to make sick drinks and talk to people. <laughs> Honestly, being able to just do that and then being able to, like, to present your own drinks. Even if it's by accident. And you come up with something that's just like amazing. Would be amazing in itself, I think. Uh, some good, some not so good. I made a mold white wine the other day. It was okay, but the latest bourbon batch has cloves in it. And so they had so many metatites. <laughs> That's awesome. I have no idea how many um, I'm at right now because I went ahead and filled it with a bunch of a bunch I knew off the top of my head. Okay. That's good though. I'm happy you're able to do that. It's being able to keep like a list of everything together. <laughs> That's impressive. Uh, have you ever had a Long Island iced tea? Yes. Yes, I have. Uh, I feel like given your area, it's a must, despite not actually being a Long Island. Yeah, no, there's definitely Long Island iced teas in my area. <laughs> Plenty of those. A lot of routing. That's awesome. All right, we're going to do a gym later. I think I'm ready. Probably not ready. We're ready enough. Let's just do it. <laughs> Let's turn up my volume. How am I in? Pleased to meet ya. I'm Aileen and I'm the gym leader. I don't really know what it means to be strong or how to be the gym leader. Or how I got to be the gym leader. But I will do the best I can as a gym leader. I will take I take battling very seriously whenever you're ready. I like her. There's a bar in my area that goes hard on Long Island iced teas. I remember chugging one with a bud and billas and barely felt a buzz. So maybe that would be in the works at some point. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're not very strong. I guess it's just more for like the taste. <laughs> it's really, it's, it's just whatever. <laughs> I also need to get a sheet for Sinnoh deck seeing data. <laughs> oh, gotcha. I like how at least how in the Pokedex in this game, uh, you can pretty much see the Pokemon like day, night, or afternoon, and also if they're in a cave or if they're outside. <laughs> and they give you a lot of different variations for the Pokedex, which is kind of nice uh, when you're looking. All right, let's do it. Uh, Jim Lear Melian. All 
Alright, she's now garlic. She gonna have a middle jam? I don't remember. Well, we'll find out in a minute. <laughs> Staravia is remembering the first time. I'm just, just gonna not take that out in context and move on. Alright, Meditite's down. This might be a sweep. Oh, the Pokemon are gonna be like this. Alright, we're going with Machoke. Uh. I don't want to go mischievous or bronze or just do. I don't know. We might be able to take it out in like two heads. I would do the ones at this bar are super strong, but the ones in Belize are really weak, which honestly, surprisingly, I'm hoping to replicate the bar one. Also, if anyone comes to visit, I can hook them up with a hammer of the gods. Right, that sounds amazing. The name, of the name itself alone is. It's quite the name. That's troubling. That's also troubling. I don't know if I'm faster here. I should be. I might switch out here. Alright, sorry, he's level 33. Wants to learn takedown. Do I want to learn takedown? Might not want to. Kind of like the idea of still having quick attack. I'm not gonna do it. All right, Mr. Jeffers is 27. Shell off 29. Lucario. Okay. Torterra. <laughs> Thank God I just got you. Should be able to help. I completely forgot about Lucario. Oh, but this isn't even the end, my friend. I wish it was. Oh, boy. Uh, let's go with... I kind of want to use Curse. All right, we'll do Earthquake. Drain punch. Yeah, 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 you strong. <laughs> this fight, but you have a growl. Oh, I didn't realize I was like a one hit KO. Alright, curse whip and a little over the top. Assuming that was you. <laughs> growl learns no moves. Now, once you get Torterra, you're like, damn. <laughs> I want, well, okay, what's Hammer of Gods? Or Hammer of the Gods? What's in that? Bronzer wants to learn extra sensory. Yeah. Maybe? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> uh, I had a level 30 growl. I eventually gave up on solo me just to get it past it. Oh no, I'm so sorry. I actually need to go back because I ended. I did not finish the. Uh, actually, I'm gonna defeat yours too. Much too strong. Thank you. Thank you very much. I. Uh, I was winning. That was a tough loss. I learned a lot. Please get this jump edge. Thank you very much. I didn't do the graveyard. I started doing it and then I got scared because I thought I was getting too strong. And then I remembered, I was reminded at least, the whole trading thing, or level 30 thing was just for trading. I can use Hidden Move Fly from your Poke Watch and play Satan as well. Stick her away. And TM 60s. Plus six special attack, Mega Drain was still a three shot on Lucario. That's not, that's not too bad though. That's uh, a whole experience dude, half shot. Talk a half shot, absinthe, light the shot on fire, collect vapors, and a flipped over glass, inhale vapors, blow out, and take the shot. Like crap. There's this like fancy restaurant I went to when I was in New York uh, a little over a year ago. 
uh, Drain Punch. Actually, that's really good. Cool. Um, but they pretty much had this one... There's just one thing I just remember. Where it was this bottle and a flask. I think it was a drink. They had this bottle and a flask. It was all vapor. You put vapor in it. There's vapor in it. You release the vapor. And it just goes all over the table. But it's kind of like a mist. So it feels good. Especially when you feel it coming towards you. So it's kind of like a mist. And it's fogging everywhere. But after it's done, it's just like a little drink. Which was, it was like, okay. <laughs> it sucked. <laughs> if I'm being honest. If I recall, I'm like, I remember that place being unsatisfying completely. Like, it was definitely one of those places where, like, you would uh, pay for, like, a $30 meal and they give you, like, very little to eat. It just looks fancy. <laughs> I hated it. But it was cool. Hold up. It can I get dangerous. Uh, Lucario has Drain Punch and some other move that really sucks to go against. Work up, I believe, or bulk up. Yeah. Oh my god, I feel like if you at least, I don't know, if you get the least least Torterra, it's kind of like you can just knock it out real quick and move on. Oh, hey, Don, how you doing? Sounds super pretentious. Yeah, it wasn't. Can you come help me? I dropped my Pokedex by accident. Team Galactic took it. Tally won't give it back. If I only need your help. I'll be playing and waiting in front of the warehouse. That's an excellent excuse to go after Team Galactic. They sold Dawn's uh, Pokedex. That's that's a problem. Also, where is this wide lens? Don't tell me. <laughs> Somewhere, I know that. Was it you? Yeah, I have a technical machine that teaches fly stored in the warehouse. Okay, so I have, I have a purpose to go here now. For the technical machine and the hidden roof. <laughs> Poor Terror is just a wind button, really. As long as you can take like one hit from a drain punch without getting like a critical hit or whatever, you're good. <laughs> yeah, the restaurant was, it was just really cool. And also, also the view from the city was amazing. But other than that, it wasn't, it was, it was just, I never want to go back there. It was definitely one of those one-time experiences I never want to go back. <laughs> That was very fancy. It's about all I can really say. They did have one that was pretty cool though. It was like, it was kind of like they had this little ship in the bottle. I forget exactly how it went. <laughs> There's a lot. I think I still have images from when I went. It was cool. Oh, I can do mystery get finally. Do I want to get a mana fee egg? I think that's how I do it. I was wondering when this is star a clothing gift. All right, let's get the man of the egg first. These are some pre-order bonuses, <laughs> or not pre-order bonuses, but like early game bonuses if you uh, haven't gotten it yet. Uh, there's a bar deeper in Orlando that had some weird smoked herb at one time. It has like an instant buzz. Really? Hey, go into my Pokemon box. Okay. Please choose the gift you want to receive. Clothing gift. I mean, the sickest cocktails? Hell yeah. Actually, I think that's what I like about my area is that there's a lot of bars in my area. I think that makes some pretty good cocktails. And I'm very happy at least having that as an option. Platinum style. Oh, so it's like a uh, like legit Pokemon Platinum clothes. Did I change my clothes trainer card? Like, I don't think I've been given the option yet to do this. <laughs> Might be after this. Full of clear. Uh, I want to look at my box, so. So this is going to be a legendary Man of the Egg. It may be close to hatching. Oh, we don't even need to walk with it. They just give it to you. It's kind of nice. Let's just do it. It's gonna be like one step. All right, well, more than one step, but whatever. All right, we'll walk around and hatch the egg real quick and then uh, we'll, we'll move on. 
I'm trying to remember. How do I do this? Oh, it's like plus or minus. There we go. Uh, we have weird clusters here. Downtown Orlando is meh. Some good spots though, but Winter Park Mill, Winter Park Mills, and Downtown Sanford are all amazing. Very spread out though. So, well, oh, and Mill District. There's actually one I went to. I haven't been there in like a little over a year. Pretty much since COVID, <laughs> I haven't been there. But there's a uh, like near the Jersey Shore. Uh, there's a there's a lot of good bars, or at least a lot of places to hang out at. Uh, but if you go more into the town area, um, rather than like away from the boardwalk, <laughs> but at least more in town, there's a lot more, at least a lot better bars and some of the bars actually offer some solid cocktails. The rest are more like your standard bars. You go in there and just order whatever's on top, but some of them can be a little bit more fancier and they actually make some solid cocktails. Which is nice. I even found that when I was in Cleveland. I think it was on like Detroit when I was in Ohio. Detroit as in like Detroit. I think it was like Detroit Avenue or Detroit Street. I don't remember what it was called exactly. But it was in Ohio. There's a bunch of uh, nice little places to get like cocktails and stuff down there too. They even had a barcade. Barcades are awesome. <laughs> is what I've learned. There was one bar I went to when I was in Ohio uh, where you could pretty much just buy a drink and then you can just play whatever arcade game that they have there. Like, you don't have to pay for their arcade games. You just buy one drink and then you just play whatever you want. It was the best barcade I've ever been to. <laughs> so you don't have to pay for the games and it's amazing. And I wish there was more like that near me. Because I did find one like a little up north where I live, from where I live. But you have to pay for all the games. So you still have to pay for the games along with uh, paying for the drinks. And I'm like, that's horrible business. But being able to do both, so nice. Or not being able to do both, but I haven't only to pay for the drinks and just play whatever you want. Such a nice feeling. Uh, there's a place called Imperial here that has an all-time favorite sour. Uh, your all-time favorite sour on tap at all times. Do they were they have live funk and jazz going on at the same time? All the time in the aesthetic is like a tricked out antique shop. That actually sounds really cool. Yeah, we have had cool nerd pub like that. They're in process of moving, but tons of board games. And there's a floor with consoles there. Are a few true barcades, but they're so far away. That's my problem. The barcades in my, in my state. Well, I live in Jersey. Uh, I think they suck. There is one in the Jersey Shore on the boardwalk that's actually really, really nice. It's not a barcade, but it's just a regular... regular like, it's just an arcade. There's no drinks or anything. But it's a really nice, like, retro-looking arcade area. Um, that was good. And, like, a little bit more in town. There's a nice one as well. But it's not drinking. It's just, like, a arcade. <laughs> Arcades, though, it, they're hard to find where I live. That's why I was like, I want to go back to Ohio just for the barcades. <laughs> And shiny. <laughs> no. Uh, many of you hatch for the egg. So we got me the fig. Check it out. Hey, do a mana fee. Want to walk together for a second? See what you're like. Did you walk? Oh, wow, you're fast. Hold up. Uh, I need to get off the bike. Thank you. I was say, man, if he's actually not that slow. Where did you go? Now I just gotta get the uh, other ones. A Fion.
I'm just like, whatever, with the nature. <laughs> Alright, let's get Bronze Orb back. <laughs> Who walks? Not man if he man if he floats. My bad. Uh, we have a monster arcade nearest to UCF that does really well. It's like $15 for entry and all the arcades are free, plus drinks that are cheap. That's actually not bad. That kind of sounds like the Ohio one that I went to. <laughs> so yeah, I like the sound of that. Uh, I was just thinking, well, I want to walk. Want to walk with me towards here? You're gigantic. You're like Grottle, but even bigger. Look at you. Look at you. Slow. <laughs> so slow, big guy. <laughs> this is this is the my probably the the best part of this game. It's just getting a Pokemon like Torterra. <laughs> just realizing they're just like they're all turtles. And they're not gonna run fast. They're just so slow. <laughs> Like you're doing your best. I know you are. It's also just funny. You're doing your best, big guy. <laughs> uh, I went to the arcade opening night and sat at the Turtles in Time arcade with my friend for like three hours. Oh my god. Alright, let's do this. <laughs> Can you help me? Uh, I dropped my Pokemon by accident. Yeah, team up and battle. Hell yeah. It's like a dream I got a team glad to get away with this. Can you fly in dust talks? Okay. Guess I can go after the B fly first, maybe? Try if I trust it. Yeah, we tried going to. Well, I remember trying to go to a lot of arcades. I think the only one I could really find is I'm in the barcade. It's like a Demon Busters. <laughs> there weren't many barcades. But you could definitely get really crappy drinks at Dave and Busters and still get, like play games. Which like it, it it did its job, I guess. Games were fun. They have one game that looks like a Flappy Birds. Like you, if you're really good at Flappy Birds, you can get a lot of coins off of Flappy Birds. You get some pretty decent prizes. Oh, was that one and oh, I forgot the other one. It was like it was like a cross game. Hey, you're crossing the road or something like that. Went to a Dave and Buster's once and thought it was okay. Yeah, it's not amazing. I went a few times before COVID and I haven't been back since. But yeah, it's nothing to be like blown away by. <laughs> Frogger, it's sort of like Frogger. It's not Frogger. It's pretty much, it is Frogger, but it's not Frogger. Uh, I don't remember what it's called though. Cause I know you can just play on like mobile and stuff too. I might look at it real, let's see if we can look at that real quick. T 
Toadger. <laughs> exactly. Maybe Crossy Road? Crossy Road. That was it. It's literally just called Crossy Road. But you can play it on your phone. Or even, I think it's on consoles too. I forgot. Or at least maybe like a fire TV. Um, it was called Crossy Road. They have that at Dave and Buster's. It's literally just Frogger. But if you're really good at that, or if you're really good at Flappy Birds, like you can get a bunch of coins just from those two games alone. Start Ravia's involved. It's just 3D Frogger. Like I said, it's Frogger. <laughs> It's like Minecraft meets Frogger, I feel like. <laughs> Look at you. Staravia evolved into Star Raptor. Staraptor. I love that little like rhythm over that. <laughs> it's such a cool Pokemon. It's combat. Uh all right, we'll get a real quick attack now. Kind of thought maybe we get rid of Endeavor, but uh, uh, mm, mm. it's okay. At that stings, your Pokemon are weak. We should get new ones from headquarters. Who cares about some Pokedex anyway? Team Galactic is going to all, all Pokemon in the world, no, in the universe. There, take it. My least favorite Pokemon? Oof. That's a hard one. This isn't about my story. I definitely didn't listen. Uh, what's going on? Why well, seem glad to get out on the streets like they've been on the place? Thank you sincerely. Professor Rowan never finds out that I lost the Pokedex. I don't want to think about it. So, what are you going to do now? I'm thinking of going to Pastoria. The Great Marshire is home to many kinds of Pokemon. That sounds like where I'm going. Uh, but least favorite Pokemon. I. Mine is Tweetshawn? <laughs> is this like a fan made Pokemon? <laughs> Wait, are you talking about like an actual Pokemon or like a Pokemon game in general? I've never heard of a Pokemon named Tweetshawn. Tweetshawn? I don't know if I really have a least favorite. Like if I look at a Pokemon, I'm just like, I freaking hate it. <laughs> it, yeah, it just clutched for me, I hate you. <laughs> so the <this> student. <laughs> It student loans. I'm sorry. <clears throat> sorry. I should say that correctly. Tuition. You think it's normal. And then it evolves into <laughs> student loans. I also get that. I'm going to say, do I get the hint for that, please? Thank you. Um, we have here some Glinga Latina kid to boot and those things we made the energy, took it to the valley, we're much earlier than the story is something. That's what it's about. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, it's like a dark type. <laughs> yeah, it's student loans. Student loans. You know, if you put student loans as like one word, I might not have caught that. Possibly. Or if like different letters were used and it was combined. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out a way. Tuition. <laughs> that one got me. I was like, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Port 
It's Torterra. Come on, buddy. Good big guy. We got this. Come on. Die by a best stand. <laughs> hey, look how slow the big guy. Okay, there he goes. <laughs> Alright, which way is it? The Pastoria? Uh, okay, so we're here. We gotta go south. Excuse me. Dude, we did a lot of traveling. <laughs> now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, we did a lot. Alright. Um, who we got out? Bronzor? Might bring out Tor Terror for a bit out front. We're going to take 214. You're serious, aren't you? It's too badly chewed up and there's nothing to see there. Well, I guess there is the Ruined Maniac guy you can check out. That guy's been digging his way through the bedrock all by himself. Let's check that out. Oh crap. Hi, psychic person. Uh, look out behind you. What is it? <laughs> Just make me look. How dare they? Just a ball floating in the air. Thanks, Abigail. That's not psychic, that's a ghost. They cannot use Earthquake on you. Razor Leaf's not gonna do much. Actually, yeah, I'll just fight. Yeah, I'm like, I'm strong enough. <laughs> okay, so I didn't realize Torterra landed a critical hit and wished to be praised. <laughs> Like, I did something. Pat me on the head, Master. Be proud. Alright, we're gonna use Mr. Fizz. We got Kadabra. Now, I was thinking of my Hex. Might be able to do a bit. There we go. Hex can do a lot once we get on like another like, status effect move. Thank you for the hydration reminder. <laughs> Number. Use Luxray. Have used Mischievous against Mischievous, but then Mischievous would have the advantage against my Mischievous, which is Mischievous. <laughs> a lot of Mischievous. I just made up a word, but we won. <laughs> quack, indeed. Thank you for the quacks. Can, can we just get the quacks up in here? Can't swim yet. We're almost there. Actually, I want to go back to uh, the past Samurai Jack. Um, Trap a Mago. <laughs> Torterra, you gotta move. I just gave you one and you're asking for more already. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not trying to be greedy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mistake. What's going on, Cipher? How you doing? How have your movie watches have been going? I know you saw the new Ghostbusters today. How? Oh, on a scale of one to ten, where would you put that? Also, I'm hoping your weekends, or, or everything's going well. Okay, so it's not all of them, it's just the ones next to it. Good to know. Interesting. Alright. 
Good, thanks you. I'm good. I had blood drawn today because I my my doctor ordered me to get my blood drawn. Um, other than that, I ended up. Where's this one place I've been wanting to go to? Is it here? No, 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 no. Yes, it's south of that. Never mind. I've never flown before. Thank you, Star Raptor. Um, but yeah, I had my blood drawn. Had a good thing, simple Thanksgiving. Why are you so slow? <laughs> it was so bad. Poor Terry is just like, I'm just trying to keep up with you, and you're just running away from me, trainer. Also, I'm sorry, like if I see berries of plants, like I have to do it. Okay, I had that today. Watched a, I watched a lot of Brooklyn 99. I got a lot today. I think I'm almost halfway through season four already. Watched a lot today. And I played a little bit of Guardians of the Galaxy. That was like one of my Black Friday purchases for myself. I got two things. I ended up getting Guardians of the Galaxy. It was like $25. So I was like, yeah, I'm going for that. Um, but I ended up getting Guardians of the Galaxy for like $25. And then I ended up getting a new power supply for my computer. Those were like the two things I've been wanting to get for a while. But I got that. That, that, that was pretty much my selfish buying for today. Everything else I bought for Christmas. I'm pretty much already done for Christmas. Except for like one thing I'm still looking into. But I'm essentially done with Christmas shopping already. Uh, I think it's a seven. It was a fun movie. I bought to watch both episodes of Hawkeye. I need to do that tomorrow. That's going to be my one of my goals tomorrow, I think. Tomorrow or Sunday. Or Monday. One of these next three days. I do want to watch Hawkeye. Uh, B99 is always a good plan. Oh yeah, Brooklyn 99. I definitely read that as like uh, BB8. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> Hawkeye's out? Yeah, it came out right before Thanksgiving. What's going on here? Oh, random Pokemon. All right. I did not finish this play, so I want to finish this. <laughs> I'm a little overpowered now. Yeah, just the first two episodes. But two, ep two episodes came out Wednesday, and I think it's going to be like every Wednesday now. It's like one episode. All right, let's get you in, Bronzor. I've been meaning to watch them. I definitely have not. Uh, my Pokemon are taken from me from Team Galactic. Team Galactic did it. Ever since, I've never forgiven their faces. That's dark. Roughneck Kirby? He has a Cleffa? This is so dark. <laughs> Gyro Ball. I like it. Hawkeye is not my fave of the MCU characters by a long shot, but so good so far. Love this dude's style. I'm just looking at it and I'm like, oh my god. He just had his Pokemon taken by Team Galactic. All he has left is a Cleffa. And his name is Kirby. I don't know. That's all about to go. Gives me the badass Gyarados biker jacket. <laughs> oh, give me that. <laughs> Actually, that's really a badass jacket. Gah. What we got here. I can't explain it. Being here compels me to battle. And a graveyard? Pokefan Leonard. I like how the Pokefan Leonard and his Pichu baby are just hanging out with the biker and his Cleffa as they, I guess, mourn the loss of their Pokemon. 
Either that or he just likes to hang out in cemeteries with his kid. I mean, it's, that's on him. If he does. I'm not going to get a lot of experience here. <laughs> Think on the Pikachu's though. <laughs> oh, no. I hate Nuzzle. I like using Nuzzle. Nuzzle against me is pretty bad. Uh, yeah, to me, really sad that we lost our family. Poke, okay, hang on, let's kick this kid's ass. It's probably like the right shoe they had or something. Have you done much with your game development cipher? Do I need to put my foot down and make sure that you are? Say it will. Right, you more like bite you. Know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Because it's dead. Anyway. That's up. <laughs> what was I just doing? Yeah, we're you're mourning the death of Raichu, probably. I'm doing something. Shellos! Shellos. Whatever. Shellos. You're evolving. <laughs> Can't everyone evolve now all of a sudden? Everyone's gonna be evolved by the time I'm at the fourth gym. There we go. Shall I evolve into Gastrodon? What a beast. Water ground apparently had a huge shell for protection in the ancient times. It lives in shallow tidal. Is this thing some type of sea slug? It is now. <laughs> yeah, it's just like a sea slug. It's a little water ground type. Okay, yes, again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's actually it's actually pretty good, I gotta say. Uh what's its abilities? Draws in water, all water type moves. Instead of being hit by water type moves, it boosts a special attack. It's insanely good. It actually already has a really good moveset too. By level like 20, its moveset was insane. <laughs> That's awesome. So, okay, so we got Luxury fully evolved, got Gastrodon fully evolved, Torterrus fully evolved, Star Raptors fully evolved, and then we just got these two. <laughs> Mischievous, I know, only evolves with a stone, bronze, or I think it's level. I forget which level. I beat somewhere in the 30s or 40s. We're making progress up. Not too bad. It's a lot of trainers. Uh, okay. Uh, did you know the spoonerism of sea slug? It's a sea slug. The more you know. It's just mind blowing. By the way, how's um Majora's Mask been for you? How far along are you into that? So I was trying to remember, was that a first time playthrough for you or is it like a replay for you? Crashing? Crashing? Even by crashing. Like. I'm assuming you're playing on like your 64. I played Majora's Mask a million times, probably remember none of it. That's my fear jumping back into that game. Cause I feel like I can just go into Ocarina at a time and I remember so much of that game. For some reason, I don't remember as much Majora's Mask as I do Ocarina at a time. I'm in the snow temple, but the game keeps freezing. So my cart might be dead. Oh, it might be bad, I don't know. 
Actually, you know what I ended up finding today? My, uh... <laughs> my Sega Genesis. I thought we ended up selling it. But we were doing some cleaning after Thanksgiving, and we were trying to find, um... My mom was looking for her reef to hang up on the door and we had it in one of our totes but we couldn't remember so we're like looking around everywhere and i ended up opening one of the totes and i'm like i found a genesis and i ended up finding i think i didn't look that closely but i think my nes was like my brother's nes was in there oh that shit i have to see if it still works they put my tree up i know it's like christmas came out of nowhere my my family was already talking about how they were hearing Adam Sandler songs on the radio. So that's when I realized, okay, Christmas is coming up. <laughs> and my family, that's the sign Christmas is here. Like all you hear is Adam Sandler Jewish Hanukkah songs or Thanksgiving songs are on the radio <laughs> constantly. <laughs> Give me a Faisal. Damn, my dad was also looking to watch a crazy nights already. <laughs> Loves that movie. Okay, we're good. Yeah, the 2021 ornament. I'm not sure if we're gonna put up a tree this year. Not like a big tree. Like we might get something small because we're like our apartment's pretty small, so we don't really have a room for like a giant tree. But maybe we'll put like a small one and maybe decorate it yeah, a little bit. I haven't really decided yet though. I have a fancy fake tree. That's what I need. <laughs> I need a new place to live. <laughs> And a fancy fake tree. No sweep. Nice. I think I'm just collecting all the TMs and just not using a single single one of those. Like at least six feet. <laughs> this fancy fake tree has to be at least my height. I need a new place to live. My rent's going up in March. Yeah, my... Uh, like, I'm helping my family with their living situation. But, yeah. The problem is everywhere <laughs> is going up. All I'm saying is just don't live in the Tri-State area because it's freaking horrible. Just anywhere. Anywhere in the Tri-State area is ridiculously expensive. So another double battle, I didn't realize. I can't embarrass myself again, not in front of my girlfriend. Don't want to look bad again, not when my boyfriend's watching. <laughs> oh no, we're going to embarrass him. Had a detailed conversation with a Michaels employee today about the cost of living. How did that go? I have both of you. Uh, at least I'm using one of them. <laughs> uh, let's go after the mischievous because I definitely cannot go after the Murkrow. At all. Also, I should have went after the Murkrow, because now I'm not going to be able to do anything on Murkrow. Okay, no problem. I apologize. I apologize for asking. I know you. I know you. I feel you on that. Mm, I guess we're using hacks. Yeah, that's fine. It's pretty strong, Mercro. Uh, I might just use safeguard and play it safe. With the card. I'm 
just keeping myself from a typing novel. <laughs> Copy keys coming up. Oh no, yeah, I know. <laughs> Everywhere I go as well, it's like that. I swear I've had this song like three times in the last week with people. Wait, can I even use these potions really for anything? Like a little bit? My potions are becoming useless. How are you guys doing? The Lost Tower is where the spirits of the party Pokemon are put to rest. Those that enjoyed long lives, those whose times were short. All of the party Pokemon shall find solace here. It's because of you that visited, take this technical machine. Thank you. What is this? Strength in the hit. Oh! This is where you get strength? I have forgotten where exactly, but you must visit a Pokemon gym. <laughs> Let me make your journey out of this place less frightening. Take this. Cleanse tag. Let the first Pokemon in your team hold it. It'll keep wild Pokemon away so you can leave unhindered. Thank you. Can I look at the graves? No. I thought you could in the other game. Alright, so the only thing you really get out of here is strength, which is actually really important. And, uh... Whatchamacallit. I need to use my escape room. I don't really need to. I'm not gonna use it. Just <laughs> thinking about it, I'm like, I, I guess I should have. <laughs> I always buy a new one if I have to. I can never run when I'm here, like ever. Thanks, Gasly. I might actually have to fight now. Quick extra sensory and just move on. Are you getting Arceus? How we talked about this? Do I have onset dementia? Did we talk about this? I think we did briefly. I am getting Arceus. I don't know if I'm gonna stream it. I'm debating if I want to. I do have some games where I think I really enjoy playing off stream, and then there's games I really enjoy playing on stream. <laughs> so it's all three questions. I can say yes to at least the first two. By a pre-order, I'm 100% getting a day one. And I've already decided to myself that I'm, I'm starting with Cyndaquil. Like, it's no if, ands, or buts. And I mean that, no buts. Am I streaming or am I speaking curse with a broken copy? Well, don't, don't have the broken copy. I hope not. The seal thing is? Oh, Oshawott? Is it Oshawott? Yeah. I actually really like all three of them. Like there's actually, all three of the stars are great. I'm actually, ex I'm excited because it's such a different, like, Pokemon experience, really. Like, I think, I, I think it's going to be, like, I don't know the premise of it. Which has me just question, I haven't questions. Because typically the premise of the Pokemon games are, you collect eight different badges, you, you fight the Elite Four, you fight the champion, you become champion, like, that's Pokemon. That game doesn't seem like that's it. <laughs> Seems like you're exploring, doing other things. And that has me intrigued. So I'm curious how that's gonna go. I don't know, it's not uh, whatever the Gen 1 seal was. Before Dugan, oh, seal. Like literally its name is seal. <laughs> But it's spelled S E E O. No, 
walk away. Why? <laughs> yeah, Gen 1 Seal, its name is Seal. With two E's. Okay, what do we got here? Win or lose, who knows how this will go? Oh, playing for cubes. That's fancy, I should have listened to that more. What's wrong with me? Nothing. P.I. Carlos. Private investigators have Goldines? I'm feeling like Goldines, Growlithes. <laughs> Just seal. Wow. <laughs> it's like, wow. Actually, because of Growlithe, that may be the debate whether or not I actually do want to get Cyndaquil. <laughs> like, I do want it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the Holly one's perfect for that. Just thank you. If she made, like, a thank you one, that would be sick. I'm not sure how that would exactly work as an emote, though. But just thank you. It's like a happy, happy face with a thank you. I'm just, <laughs> I don't know. I'm glad Arceus is not a two-part adventure. You mean like two versions? And that has also made me happy. Just having Arceus as one game is very, very rewarding. Yeah, there's no red boot like Nope. It's just one game. That's actually pretty relieving. Which means that makes me question so much about the game, though. It's like, what is this game going to be about? What is it like? Like, it's so different. But different's also good. But it's also... Hmm. It's also yawning. <laughs> I don't know, though. I'm just not sure what to think about. I'm excited. It's just new. It's different. Just don't know if it's like a good different. Are you in the way? I think you're in the way. Oh, whatever. I'm stuck for it. Same. I'm gonna try to get over here. All right, there's nothing here. I wasn't sure I might be stuck. Can I move you? There we go. No, I cannot. Torterra. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Alright, let's fight. What? You do? You do have a Pokedex. I don't know why I said it like that. It's an Alponita. Hey, if it wasn't for the Growlithe reveal, that would have been me being like, okay, you know what? I'm 100% going for Cyndaquil. Because I haven't used Cyndaquil in so long. But now I'm kind of like, I don't know. Because that growth looks pretty cool. And I think it's like Fire Rock or whatever. Brain needs to play me and TG. What kind of magic cards do you think he has? As someone who knows a bunch about Magic the Gathering. And by knows a lot, I mean, I know like some images of stuff my brother used to collect. <laughs> uh, Zombie Goblin's brother, come and face me, Mal. Uh, Brady is fresher, a uh, blue, blue or white blue. Fisher. Oh yeah, I forgot they're like color coded, right? I should forgot about that. Hey, the yawns are really out the camera today. For sure though.
God, I love Quick Claw. Quick Claw is your item's best friend. It really is. Yep, by your powers combined, I am Nerd Plant, Red, Blue, Green, White, Black. <laughs> See what you did there. I, I saw the number of references that you dropped there, and I was very impressed. I'm not tired, you are. After having pie, really hits you. <laughs> Any dessert, you're kind of like everything hits you. I'm not drunk, you are. What? <laughs> I am not drunk. I'm not drunk. What? I might switch out. Think Star Raptor. Maybe I'll mix up my own Hammer of Gods tonight. That sounds amazing. Do it. I know you've told me about it. It still sounds amazing. <laughs> Even just like the visual aesthetic of it. Or just like how you do everything, like the yeah, stepping and all. Wow. Just, just punched right in the face. Just so thoughtful. I seriously can't stop yelling. I don't know why. <laughs> I just explained it. All right, Tartare. <laughs> You're my wiping guy. I sensed the presence of a trainer for a while. It was you. You couldn't even see me. Psychic Mitchell. Sent out a haunter. All right, let's do extra sensory. My brain was comprehending what to use on you first. Am I trying to remember, like, you are poison of a ghost. Oh, my goodness. Excuse me. We're switching out. Maybe. Maybe not. We'll give it one more turn. We're definitely switching out. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad I didn't switch out. That would have been a problem. There we go. Definitely switching out now because I'm cursed. So that's happening. Bronze was level 30. Dark Story is 32. That's why it's switching out. Kadabra. Definitely 155% switching out. <laughs> Wait. They said there was a style shop in Veal Stone, right? I need to go back. <laughs> I'm like just realizing this. I 100% missed that area of the town. It says something about it. Maybe it's in the department store. All right, so Mistress is 30, Star Raptor's 35, Gastrodon's 31. Defeating you will be no easy matter. Excellent. All right, I'll be back. I need to go back to this town real quick. Might as well heal up there, but I remember them mentioning something about that. Uh, I don't know where it 
is though. Actually, it could be this. Actually, it could be this. Storage. What's this? Let's go to the shop shop. Hello? Welcome. At Metronome Style Shop, you can choose a new outfit to achieve your perfect look. Okay. Not sure what to buy. Me either. I don't even know what's up with this. Just dropping the beat out of nowhere. I'm so shocked. The t-shirts with the Clefairy pattern are sold out. Do you still have the Clefairy? Anything out of Yeah, just let me shop. Hello? Overall style? Wait a minute. I recognize the visor. the money for all this stuff EV jacket style Gengar this tune's too fast for me I need another drink cyber style holy crap that's like uh, uh what's your face I don't remember uh winter style I might actually need this for now <laughs> coming up spring style very nice casual style amazing Leather jacket style. Wow. Some styles up in here, that's for sure. I mean, I don't like the, I mean, I don't know why I actually like the overall style. It's not really my style, but. Oh, Jesus. And you can see him as like a sprite. I might actually go, uh. The overalls. Let's put it on. I wish you could actually mix and match them though. I don't know if that's a possibility. So yeah, that we have the platinum style. Okay. So he does look like the platinum trainer. That's pretty cool. So like this is what you get originally, but when you play Pokemon Platinum, your trainer actually looks like this. Which is very minimum difference. But the jacket and all is pretty cool. Alright, we're gonna use. <laughs> Don't know why I'm gonna use it, but I just wanna use something different. <laughs> Alright, we're going with this. Alright, what's in here? And this box goes there, and that goes there. We're so busy. Clefairy. <laughs> Say some some Clefairy. All right, let's just see if there's anything in here. The answer's no. But I am happy I got to uh, check that out. I do need to heal a little bit, so let's go. Come on, Torterra. <laughs> you can keep up, buddy. Feels so bad for it. Like it's just not gonna keep up. Actually, maybe I'll put in like Luxray and see how fast Luxray is. Or Star Raptor. So I wanna see how they are. All right, you should be fast, Star Raptor. I figured you'd be a lot bigger. There you go. You you catch up to me very well, <laughs> Star Raptor. <laughs> yep, pretty much just comes right along with me. <laughs> Actually, let's look in the grass, see if there's anything, you know, in the grass. <laughs> I have not looked for any Pokemon so far. Uh, there's definitely something there. Heart scale, hell yeah. There's just nothing in the grass. It's just grass. Just run into it as much as you want, but no Pokemon ever comes out. <laughs> I just walked into so much grass there, just nothing. <laughs> nothing. Hey, Staraptor. 
For the sake of my collection, I take on people I know I can't be. That's what a collector does. No, I can respect that. All right, let's see this bronze war. Hopefully, let's do this. All right, definitely not gonna switch out. If I do, I am most definitely gonna faint. Or get poisoned yesterday at least. Roselia. No. How many Roselias do you have? Three? Damn. I was just thinking I could use a uh, safeguard. Actually, I don't think that would work now. Damn, the setups these Pokemon have. No, I might switch out if it's another Rosalia. Maybe. This could be a bit hectic for my bronze war. <laughs> I mean, it's bad enough I can't take out a level 22 Rosalia really quickly. Because let's be real, it's real, you know, bronze is not that type of an attacker. It's more of like a, I will take on your hits. The views, like, poisons and leech seeds and all that I'm, I'm gonna lose <laughs> or bronze or I should say yeah it's just it's two star after let's get the quick KO and move on because I'm not sure if it'll hit me with a spice because I'm flying it's somebody No, I didn't. Cool. So I was saying, my star after's floating in the air, so I got seven of those spikes. But I will. I will touch the poison point that Rosalia has. Should boast more about the last attack. Thank you. Get the end though. And yes, definitely use potion. Cool, we're good. I I, I want to check out the grass here, I'm sorry. Like Valor. Oh we're good. This is finally something. Cricketune. All right, so maybe there'd be nothing in here. Take a little bit of a search. This game does not like me to run. Ever. Like I might be like 10 levels above the Pokemon. And they're just like, nah, you're not running for me. Where are you going, buddy? Uh, let's use. I don't know, let's put your terror in the front. Alright, let's just look around for a little bit. Just a couple minutes and then. Ooh. It's a good Pokemon. So it seems got at least two IVs. That's one thing I learned. <laughs> if you're hunting for a Pokemon and that animation occurs when you're hunting said Pokemon, I'm gonna throw a great ball. So I try finding it, especially with Torterra. <laughs> Terra's gonna knock you out. 
Actually, maybe not. Who knows? Let's just try Razor Leaf. It's gonna be gonna go badly. All right. I really don't need to catch you. I don't know why I want to catch you. We're gonna do it anyway. <laughs> I actually just want to see the IVs because that's what I've been told. I want to see what it looks like. I'm hoping this goes through, and it did. Cool. But you already have a ponytail, so I don't need another. But I want to give this a try. Uh, yeah, see so your summer. It's jolly. It's actually really good. Uh, can I check out these yet? Probably not yet. This is pretty much the ponytail I would have wanted for. <laughs> now it's catching ponytails. Uh, but let me look. You stats. I might need something else to look at these later. It might be like post game. But I do know that at least any animation indicates it's good. <laughs> Let's just look around a little bit more and then I'll go. All right, another party tall. So that's uh, some uh, Pokemon catching tips, I guess. Briefly, I'll give you. If you're looking for a Pokemon to catch and you see your trainer before the actual Pokemon, catch that Pokemon. <laughs> It'll be decent. Graveler. Man, they have to trade you. Mm, I this is the point in the game where I'm like, I really wish I had like quick balls. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that to go through. Uh, let's go with... <laughs> I'm, the, I'm in the options. Uh, we go Mischievous. Not so sure about Rock Throw, but at least... I can avoid any ground moves if he uses it. Rock Throw. Go Psybeam. Trying to say, I'm like, I actually think it's still do more damage. <laughs> Self destruct. I'm Ghost. We'll get you eventually. Trust me, I'll go into some random cave and it'll just pop up. All right, we'll look for one more Pokemon. All right, it's just Chia, dude. At this point, I might as well just get to Chiyu do level up like one time and we'll evolve. Alright, what do we got? Been traveling around the world chasing stories on mysteries has been it's made me pretty tough. Sounds very mysterious. Me like a fossil collector. Oh, I should have used earthquake. I mean, it doesn't matter. It mattered. It didn't matter. Use razor leaf again. Unless it's sturdy. Actually, it might have known sturdy. In which case, yeah, that was the right move. Don't really know. <laughs> so this type of Pokemon, I'm like, they could not sturdy. Uh, what you doing down there? Uh, to find my favorite Pokemon, I'll go east, west, or any which way. But would you go south, west? Yeah, no.
<laughs> wishing to be praised. Good job, good job. Can I, is there actually like a praise button maybe I can press? I really thought about that. It's like, praise me, I'm like, okay, maybe there is an actual button I can press. So I feel like it's landing the critical hits and I'm not being like, good job, Patera, I'm proud of you. I feel like it's more like, wishing to be praised. Yeah, how can I? <laughs> I'm pressing all buttons, making sure I can do anything. <laughs> Alright, her terror is level 35 now. Cool. I think I'm trying to get Torterra back to being like my strongest Pokemon. Like ahead of Star Raptor. Doesn't really matter, but. Oh, crap. Hey, Marshmallow, how you doing? 8-bit, what's going on? Talus, Rose, hello. Raven, hey, how you doing, Raven? Hello. What's up, everybody? How's all streams going? Give you a shout out. I was gonna say, did I just break a combo or did I shout out? Terraria, how was that today? You play without that, like multiplayer stuff, right? How was that today? Happy Friday. Yeah, how's all everyone doing? If you don't know who I am, I am the bigger engineer. Thank you for the follow, Raven. Bro Shack, how you doing? Uh, I'm a variety streamer. Uh, I've been playing Shining Pearl. We're kind of just going through it casually. Nothing. No. Too insane. Uh, thank you for the follow, Bro Shack. Appreciate it. Uh, it was great. We played a mod with friends. Nice. Gary, I don't think I knew you streamed. I stream a little bit on and off. <laughs> I stream like a couple times a week. Thank you for the follow though, Letalis. Letalis? I want to make sure I'm saying that right. Thank you, I appreciate it. Also, my monitor is like way over here. That's why I'm like looking that way. Yeah, I usually stream like three times a week if I can. But lately, it's been like Monday, Fridays, and like Saturdays. It's been very weird days because my work schedule and everything has been changing. Um, but hi. <laughs> yeah, I've done, as of recently, stream wise, uh, I know we've done Disco Elysium recently. We just finished Resident Evil Village. We played a little bit of the Medium, a Plague Tale we played a little bit of. And we played a whole bunch of Metroid games. A whole bunch. At least in the 2Ds. Uh, but yeah. Doing that, we just started Shining Pearl last week. Uh, I just got to the third badge. So I'm not too, too far. Uh, nice, you picked Turtwig as well. I like in the game, I'm loving it. I mean, I've loved Pokemon since I was a kid, so this is like an easy go-to for me. <laughs> Um, but no, it's been really, really good. Uh, we're sort of just exploring around, trying to see if there's any uh, Pokemon that I missed in the grass. And I ended up finding a Graveler, but it keeps using Self-Destruct on me. So I can't catch it. <laughs> uh, so I've been thinking maybe I might just get like a Chiyo dude at some point, just evolve it. Well, I already have a Chiyo dude. Um, I'm thinking I might have to get one leveled up and just evolve it and then maybe eventually trading it just to get golem but overall no i'm actually really liking it because i feel like this game has been like a perfect blend between uh like the original pokemon games and like a mix of like sword and shield but the way like some of the mechanics from that game uh introduced and i felt like they introduced some of that into this one and then blended that with you know the way Diamond and Pearl was, which is nice. But yeah, no, I've been really liking that. It's been a lot of fun. Thank you all, I really appreciate it. If you haven't followed Marshmallow Dragon yet, please do. You've also been playing Pokemon though, haven't you? Were you playing? Is this Silver? No. Yes. No. Yes. <laughs> I've definitely seen you playing Pokemon recently. 
No, you did Sword and Shield recently. Like your name and all your Pokemon are like bands, right? Or genres? Golden Pearl lately. Okay. I got one. At least I got the generations right. I just got the game wrong. <laughs> Golden Pearl. Okay. Was it like the original Pearl or were you playing this Pearl? If it wasn't this Pearl, I hope this isn't too, too much of a spoiler for you if you ever get to this. Even though I guess maybe it's a spoiler? <laughs> sort of. Um, what Pokemon? Broadsword. Okay. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I remember that a little bit. That's awesome. I feel like I've seen Levitate. What the hell? Okay. Just use Razor Leaf. Whatever. Um, that's awesome. Are they like first time playthroughs for you? For those two? I should just switch out. <laughs> hey, what am I doing? Uh, blah. Don't really have anything. A star after. I never had a chance to play this gen till now. I tried, but the two I bought for DS were broken. Oh my God, it's horrible. I'm so sorry. But also, no worries on that. Gold, I played many times. Okay. This is actually one of the generations I played maybe like once, maybe twice at most. I have not gotten to play like Pearl and Diamond many times. I think I played like the original Pearl once and then I played Platinum, I think, once. And I was like, eh. I got gold as a kid, but I've also played hardcore. Gotcha. Okay. I'm the opposite. <laughs> yeah, when I was a kid, I ended up getting silver. Uh, and then I got soul silver. And then I got pearl, eventually. Um, how did my generations go? I ended up getting like blue, silver, uh, Blue, silver, sapphire, pearl, black, and then it starts getting fuzzy. <laughs> and what was after that? Why? <laughs> and once you get past like generation like four and five, I'm like, okay, the names start getting fuzzy for me. I think it was like Y, sun, and then shield. It was a lot easier to remember them when they were just based on colors and stones. That's awesome, though. Okay, so I think I'm almost into the new city. I kind of went up a north a little bit just to see if I could find anything. I'm just gonna use Rock Smash. I did find Heaven Pokemon. <laughs> Follow you around actually as a blessing and also a curse, depending on the Pokemon. And Torterra has been one of those Pokemon where it's been more of a curse because it's so slow. But I like it at the same time. What is this? Dig. Okay. That's very good. Uh, everyone calls me a ruined maniac. I don't care what they call me. I'll just keep on chipping away at the rock wall little by little. Do you know why? I'm a ruined maniac who is fascinated by the unknown. Now it's a little sun, but how about you and me have a race? You go and catch the unknown, and I'll keep digging away. <laughs> we'll have a race so you can see you can get done faster. I was about to say, I'm about to run into an unknown by an accident. I don't know. Yeah, I played the red, yellow, gold, sapphire stuff for many years because of life. I feel that. Uh, then I played X. Alpha Sapphire. Have noon, but have noon. <laughs> Sorry, I haven't moon, but never got far. 
sparkle white still working on it and sword shield sorry for the long description i'm still i'm still catching up on pokemon too no you're good i think the one pokemon game i actually have not finished was the remakes for sun and moon because they came out with like ultra sun and ultra moon and i've only played maybe like halfway through ultra sun but i never actually gotten to finish it been meaning to finish it, but I never finished that one. Um, all the other ones, I think the majority of the other ones I pretty much got to. I never caught Sudo Wudo, what am I doing? <laughs> uh, I don't know who to send out. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Let's go Bronzor. <laughs> Tearful luck. It's like a sad version of mean luck, but I love it. <laughs> you wouldn't think Zuda would have a move, I thought. And then of course it has a move that's like just like me look. Alright, so I gotta figure out how to hurt you. And not make you faint. God, you're slow too. I'll just give the great ball a try. That did not work. So I know our, we're just discussing this with uh before you guys came in, but we know like RCS is coming out in a couple months. Like very soon. Um I think it's like end of January or something like that. Which is is mind-boggling for me because I'm like, they have like two Pokemon games coming out so soon. And I'm like I'm already debating like which one do I want to start with? I think I've already decided, like, I want to get Cyndaquil. Because I feel like I have not used a Cyndaquil in such a long time. But the new one I have so much interest in playing. Because it's so different. Also has me a little worried. Because <laughs> it's so different, but I'm also intrigued. So I really don't know what to expect from it. It sort of reminds me of Sun and Moon, but I'm also... I don't know. Jeez, you do not just want to get caught, do you? <laughs> Can't come out in January. So glad Sun and Quill is getting some love, finally. Same. Like, the other two I do have interest in. Like, Ashwad and, uh... What was the other one? <laughs> I don't remember the bird name. I feel so horrible. Oh god, it's more recent too. I love that damn bird in Sun and Moon. But no, Cyndaquil, I... Rowlet, thank you. I loved Rowlet in Sun and Moon. So that was my starter in Sun and Moon. Um, but I love Cyndaquil. I have not used Cyndaquil in such a long time. When I was a kid, I ended up doing a uh, drawing for Nintendo Power. <laughs> and they were looking for like art submissions. So I was like, all right, I'm just gonna draw an image of a uh, type illusion. So I drew it, I sent it to Nintendo. And I think like two months or so later, I got like a reply from them. Like they, they sent a letter. And they pretty much said like, thank you for sending this in. We appreciate it. Uh, even though it's not going to be in our magazine, uh, they said they were like hanging it up in their office. Which I was like, okay, that's kind of cool. And I also think as I got older, I'm like, they probably just threw it away. <laughs> but maybe they actually did hang it up in their office. You don't know. But, yeah. I, don't know. I felt like that was like a highlight for me whenever I had like a 
drawing sent out. So kind of cool that they at least sent you a response. Yeah. I actually really miss Nintendo Power. <laughs> I mean, kind of sweet, but it was nice of them to respond. <laughs> exactly. Uh, I'm going to avoid spoilers and get some food. I hope you have fun. Yes, please avoid the spoilers. And thank you. Yeah, get all your food, rest, whatever you need to get. Thank you. I really appreciate it. The read and everything. If y'all haven't followed Marshmallow, please, please, please do so. She's amazing. But thank you. I really appreciate the read. Like front. Okay. Don't know what's here. What is here? <laughs> when the lakes has symbolic to the water rich Sinnoh region, there's not a legend associated with it. I might just realize something. I've actually almost been all the cities early. Uh, to protect the lake, it's nice to know there are so people worth admiring like that. I believe his name was Cyrus. That's not good. <laughs> I've been asked to keep everyone out of the lake area. Reason I'm not too sure, but apparently to protect the lake. Is there something in the grass I could catch? No, not really. I feel like it's a lot of the same Pokemon all the time. Finally making your way to Snow Point. Nice. So I think that's pretty far along into the game. So, one thing I did learn, this is probably a decent cheer, dude. I'm gonna run though. <laughs> Alright, there's pretty much nothing in this grass, as far as I can tell. Alright, let's grab this, Paralyze Heal. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, there's a thing here. Great. All right, I guess we're good. What am I to do? I've gone and dropped my sweet key somewhere again. The hotel people won't be happy with me. I still had it when I left the reception counter earlier. Thinking about a different game. <laughs> yeah, it's been the biggest annoyance with these games so far. Almost every wild encounter is one of like five different Pokemon. Yeah, I keep going into it thinking like there's going to be something new. And thing about time I got to... Uh, what's going on here? Stop, stop, yes, you, Sunny Shore City, which is down this road, had a major blackout. Crews are working on restoring the power, but the road's closed for now. All right. Sorry. Um, yeah, it's been mostly like Chew Dudes, Pony Taws. Seen a lot of Cricket Tunes. And then maybe like one new Pokemon almost every other grass, but it's a lot of the same ones. As of late. Uh, at a restaurant, you can enjoy more than just exquisite dining. You may also partake in battles, bon appetit. Cool. Uh, boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> Let's savor the striving at meal, and I think of what it represents. We can use that as a motivation to keep winning at life. Personally, I think there are two kinds of people. Those who face up to any challenge, and those who duck and cover. You're the type who faces up to any challenge, am I right? I feel like it's like a trick question. Freaking knew it. <laughs> Got Munchlax? Awesome. I say they're not very strong. Yeah, when I had originally played like uh, Pearl, I was talking to my uh, oldest brother about it because we're both into Pokemon. 
And when he played Diamond, he had Turwick originally. And when I played Pearl originally, I had uh, Piplup. <laughs> I really, really like Piplup. So I was talking to him about it. Let's switch. Uh, right before we got this game, because we usually have like discussions based on like, okay, which Pokemon game do you want? It's actually really, it's not very good for you. I'm gonna get rid of Lyra though, because it's really not that good. Um, I was kind of asking, I'm like, okay, which one do you want? You know, because I was thinking, I'm like, I kind of want to get Pepo up again, because I really like Pepo up. <laughs> I think I'm pulling into awesome, especially the water type, just being water steel. I thought it was just awesome. So I was talking to my brother about it and he ended up just being like, I want Peplop. <laughs> I was like, all right, <laughs> made my decision a little bit easier. So I ended up not going with Peplop. And then I was trying to decide, like, do I want Turtwig or do I want Chimchar? And I don't know. As much as I know how amazing Chimchar is, both in a gun I was like, I kind of want to try out Torterra because I've never really used a Torterra before. I felt like I've had enough experience with like firefighting starters, <laughs> so I was like, you know what, let me try something different. I'm actually really liking Torterra. Torterra has been amazing. Uh, if I had the power of premonition, I'd be a terror on the markets, but you know, it's not really possible. Poor you. Uh, if my Pokemon buddies heard I went on a date with you, Allison, they'd probably hate me for it. Are you Allison's fan too? Yes. What a shame. Uh, for whatever reason, I just don't like most fire starters. I'm a sucker for grass starters. I feel like I've been like a, at least a decent blend of both, but most of the time, that's actually going to be perfectly fine. Uh, I was just thinking, I'm like, I want to use Earthquake, but Mischievous. But I was like, Mischievous is a little too. I should be good. Yeah. Perfect. But yeah, for most starters, like I'm thinking back, I'm like, I remember having, I, I went with Squirtle the first generation. I played the first generation a lot. <laughs> Second generation, I remember going Cyndaquil. Gen three, I went Mudkip. And after that, it's Gen 4. Oh, Gen 4 Pipple. So I went water a lot. Now I'm thinking about it. So Gen 4, I went Pipple up. Gen 5, that's where I started getting fuzzy. I think I also went water. I went water a lot. Now I'm thinking about it. <laughs> some reason, I'm always thinking like fire, fire, fire. But I'm like thinking starter wise, I'm like half the time, I think I go water as a starter. Gen 5, I'm pretty sure I went water as well with Oshawa. Then Gen 6. Actually, I think I went back to Fire. I think I went Fennekin. Yeah, I went Fennekin. And then like the last Gen, I went Grass. So I guess the only times I ever went Grass <laughs> was Routlet. Now that I'm thinking about it, but most of the time I'm in water. I've only went fire like twice or once. I don't know. Uh, grass types tend to not be as useful now, so I get why they aren't less popular. Uh, I get why they're less, usually less popular. I actually like a lot of the grass starters. I think they're pretty cool. I think the one I least like was probably Trico. I was not a fan of Trico. Trico is kind of like whatever. Chikorita, I thought it was okay. I love Bulbasaur. I love Bulbasaur. Um, Turwig, I love. Do my homework while eating so I can battle anytime. Okay. 
do your multiplication. Wow. You try to battle with your Meryl. Or your Wooper, sorry. Uh, I went Bulbasaur, Cyndaquil, Mudkip, Turtwig, Snivy. Oh, Snivy! That was the other one I was trying to think of. <laughs> I wasn't the biggest fan of Snivy either. <laughs> I don't know why, I just could not get into them. That's just me, though. Like, there are some I really like. I like Turtwig. I like Bulbasaur. I like Rowlet. That might be the top three of grass types for me. So mostly grass and water for me. I love Snivy. He looks so smug. <laughs> I do remember that a little bit. I don't know why Snivy just could not click with me. I do get the smug snow. Yeah, I think just... I love all of them. I was just thinking, what's the most recent one? You know, he's more like the monkey. He, uh, he was, he was pretty cool. I don't think I played that generation enough, though. <laughs> the most recent one. I think out of all the Pokemon games, I think the last two generations I have not played as much. So I'm not as experienced with those. I was learning Pain Split. Ah, bad move. The user adds its HP to the target's HP, then equally shares the combined HP of the target. Um, no. <laughs> I wish, no. That's a hard one, though. All right, let's do another earthquake and just get it over with. I really liked Sword, but it had some pretty awful starters, in my opinion. I wasn't a huge fan of the starters. I think I went... I did go Sabo. I think Sabo was pretty cool. The other two, uh, I was kind of like, whatever. Because <laughs> um, I know the one that was like a bunny that could kick soccer balls. And the other one was like a drumming monkey, which actually sounds pretty cool now that I say that out loud. It's not enough. Sabo, Sabo connected with me a little bit. Chef flambéed this perfection, the rich aromas and the flavors fall in my mouth with joy. You're throwing down a challenge in the middle of our meal. I would say you're very dedicated trainer, especially for one so young. Exactly what I am. I think my issue is short, short. <laughs> Sword and Shield. Um, I won't talk too many spoilers, but like I wasn't thrilled with like the post game. I think that was my only issue. But yeah, <laughs> I know what you mean. Um, I don't know. It's something. Something with the stars in click with me, and then just everything else in general. And it's just. Eh. <laughs> I do feel like the new game was like a very experimental and that like everything that you try to do like just be more open world and Pokemon roaming around and stuff like that which hopefully like RCS will address a little bit better um but I don't know I just wasn't blown away by Sword and Shield yeah the story and the post game were pretty weak but I really like catching Pokemon in the wild area I felt fresh yeah that felt fresh I do like that part everything else in general I thought I was like eh <laughs> So that's why it has me really interested in uh, Arceus. So I think that would actually be really uh, pretty good. I just got to that hoo hoo. Yeah, I felt like walking around in the wild was pretty cool. Just seeing all the Pokemon just everywhere. Um, and I guess just like the whole Dynamax thing wasn't bad. The, the DLC for the Dynamax stuff I thought was actually pretty cool. I thought that was a nice take on... Uh, what, how do you say this? Rain Pokemon X and Y of this French. <laughs> 
Uh, interesting, these hood vase are fascinating. Plant fiber, 20%. Iron, 5%. Protein, 35%. That actually sounds pretty good. Quasio and Quasio. <laughs> what is it now? Do you want me to analyze your skill level? Are you trying to get my power level or something? Like, what's going on here? Yeah, I thought that was pretty okay there, Pokemon Breather. Um, I thought that was pretty cool. Battle Tower wasn't that bad either. For that game. I thought it was okay. Need to take out that Kadabra. I'm like sitting here thinking, I'm like, what do I need to take out? Kadabra. <laughs> I can never trust a Kadabra. My brother was already texting me like the moment uh, he got himself a Kadabra. He's like, I need to trade now. Like immediately. <laughs> so he wanted an Alec exam so badly. So don't blame him. Alec exam is awesome. This should do it. Only thing I know for sure is that I learned that Torterra and Mr. Viz are the perfect one to duo for my uh, team right now. Does anyone know what the pedestals do? I do not. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, what's always a pain trying to get a Gengar or an Alakazam as a kid. Nice that trading is so much easier nowadays. Seriously. Because the same way... So the only thing that really worked for me... Was that my oldest brother played a lot of Pokemon with me. So if I had blue, he had red. If I had silver, he had gold. If I had sapphire, he had ruby. Um... Is that it? I was trying to think, am I, do they tell you anything? Like, congratulations, but it's not like it. Um, God, I forgot about this little city. Or his little lake front, I should say. <laughs> hey, don't come on back here after you've defeated the champion. Don't forget, found me here, okay? Okay, well, I will probably forget. <laughs> Rather be in the pool than the sea. The salty tang of the sea tastes like my tears after a hard day at work. Yeah, that's deep. Not sure, got some of them, but no idea what they are for. Why does it block the word? Block the word got? I don't know. Hey, Gengar. Hey there, it's me, Gengar Loving Director. Oh, battling other traders sure is exciting, isn't it? Keep building up those bonds with your Pokemon so you can take on tougher trainers. Hey, Sadak, like, how you doing? Ciao! <laughs> My game director. You're working on filling your Pokedex, aren't you? It's awesome that you're going to meet lots of Pokemon. Come show me your Pokedex when you fill up tons of entries. Okay. So I'm assuming... Something good. Shiny Charm, maybe? I don't know. We'll figure it out. What are y'all doing here? We're traveling trope of street performers. In place of formal introduction, please take these. Thank you. Fire move? Trick room. It's a dozy of a weird move. Use it in a while afterwards. The slowest Pokemon get to use their attack first. Bam. How you use trick room is up to you, trainer. My current team would actually be probably really good with trick room. Other than maybe like Staraptor. I can shine wherever I go and things in my life. Because I know most of my Pokemon are pretty slow. It's destiny shall shift. Whatever the bode, whatever that bode's wall or is, it'll bond the scope. Okay. Cool. 
Yeah, I'm thinking of like more and more about my team. I'm like, I have a shell. Oh, not nice so Gosh, Gastrodon, Torterra, Bronze, or I'm like, all three of those Pokemon alone are pretty slow. Tor Trick Room with Torterra would be awesome. Yeah. Yeah, it's good to see other places. Have you heard of the Whirl Islands in the Johto region? Yes, I have. That silver colored Pokemon, I must see that in my lifetime. Me too. I'd love to see that. Can I get to that building? Oh, I need like rock climb. Iron. Don't have that. All right. Oh, it's got blue shallows. Hi. Uh, this hotel is so romantic. I hope a night on a Pokemon will sweep me away for a honeymoon here. Uh, you want to stay the night? I'm afraid we're totally booked. You may rest while if you wish. Oh, okay, thank you. Search your Pokemon with full health. Unexpected uh, Pokemon Center. Found a red shark. Freaking fantastic. Oh, what are you doing over here? Torterra. <laughs> Very eager. Uh, I stand stoically in front of the deep blue sea. Why? Because I'm a rich boy. Seaside suits me better than the sea. Yeah, I get you out of the way there. How are you doing? All right. Uh, I'm guessing there's a lot of water trainers. I might just stick with what I got. Actually, no, Luxray. 100% can use Luxray. Can battle to. Cool. I was thinking, I'm like, I use Torterra more, but I'm like, I need to spread out my Pokemon a little bit. I'm Pyro. There we go. Feel like I'm like trying to figure out, like, am I at a beach or am I at a desert? But then I see the water in the back. Now I'm like, okay, it feels more like a beach. Get level 32. Bronzer wants to learn heavy slam. Is that based on weight? User slams into the target with its heavy body. The more the user outweighs the target, the better the boost power. I think that might be a little bit better than Gyro Ball for now. Gyro Ball can be really, really, really good. But I think as for like a playthrough perspective, maybe not good right now. If I was doing like one on one trainer battles, like online or something like that, I, I consider Gyro Ball more often. I lost, now I'm hungry. That's, I feel that. What are you doing there? Isn't this nice? I love my inner tube. Again, I'm like, are you just pure water right now? I'm gonna find out in a second. I don't remember. I know Gastrodon's grabbed. Yeah, you're just pure water. They're kind of like mixing and matching. I got the male one, I have the female one, I have the blue one, I have the pink one. <laughs> Alright, cool. Couldn't move very well because my inner tube got in the way. Blame that tube, kid. Blame it. How do I get in there? Okay. 
Where do I go from here? I can go across. There we go. Fishing rod. There's a fancy hotel in the fancy place with a fancy restaurant. The fancy restaurants filled with fancy people who think themselves of being too fancy to do battle alone. Oh, well, I ain't being that fancy. Uh, Dr. Footsteps House, Footprints Reveal All. All right, I gotta check this out. Pokemon are quite easy for me to read. I need only to see their footprints and their innermost thoughts are revealed to me. Oh, you're skeptical on my claim? I'll let, let your luxury walk in front of me right here. From its footprints, I will determine how it feels about you. Jason is a remarkable human and a trainer. That I can always perform the best any luxury I possibly can. I attribute that entirely to my partner. When we travel, I can see wild Pokemon eyeing us enviously. And that's what your luxury thinks of you. I must say, your luxury and you share a very close bond. This is for you. Oh, thank you. I forgot about these ribbons. So I have a footprint ribbon? <laughs> it's a literal footprint. I remember the word to a Pokemon deemed to have a top quality footprint. So what if I use Mischievous? Does Mischievous qualify as a footprint? Yeah. Lay it on me. Treats me Mischievous nicely without being scared by will be even scarier from now on. That's what Mischievous, that's what we Mischievous do. <laughs> And Mr. Viz doesn't leave any footprints. It's somewhat difficult for me to determine what its thoughts are. Okay, cool. Good to know. That's very curious. I'm like, what about the floating Pokemon that don't have feet? I always feel that efficient. All right. What do we got? I was waiting for like six magic card. <laughs> it's probably just three. Uh, actually, it's very weak. Let's just use Hex. I'm trying to think, even uh, Bronze Orb might be able to finish him off one hit. Here it does. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Let's get Luxray. Just don't go from like Magikarp to Gyarados like that. I mean, you do, but you shouldn't. Let's do Spark. Let's begin some level ups. Gastrodon wants to learn Muddy Water. I kind of want to learn it, but also I kind of don't. don't like that 85 accuracy I think I I prefer water pulse uh, you can't learn it that 85 accuracy just worries me too much <laughs> I think I'll definitely learn surf but I, I can't learn muddy water not this generation at least I think the other generations was a lot higher in accuracy I thought it's like 90 for 95. Just like a tad weaker. I think they just made it stronger and just lower the accuracy. Alright, so I can't swim yet or surf. So we have to come back. Uh, we have the beauty of the fight. Let me demonstrate my technique. That's how it grow about. It's a words. Can't talk. <laughs> All right, Beauty Cindy, what we got? Clam Meow. Cool. I was trying to get to the point, I'm like, I think a lot of the Pokemon that we're fighting were like at least 10 levels higher. 
That's how you attack? The push all. I don't know if he actually that's how you say it. It might just be Shaw. <laughs> I'm just gonna go with Push Shaw. TM40 gear release. Very nice. As Torterra slowly makes his way. Oh, poor guy. Alright, what you got? There's something on top of this big cliff here. My instincts tell me that, but how am I supposed to climb up here? Gotta okay, use like rock climb. Just gotta get a hint move. Uh I think we're almost actually in Pastoria City. We are, we might actually try out the gym. Either that or we're about to go into another route. Because we're about to go into 213. I right, one route until the new uh city. I'm also over here just implanting berries consistently. I feel like anything I only have like one or two of them, like I just plant that immediately. <laughs> Alright, so Persian berries. Not yet. This is Agwav. That's a new one. Okay. I do like you can just sprinkle the water on one of the crops and at least gets, well, I didn't get the end one there. That's unfortunate. Sometimes I get like both crops at the same time. So I'm like, okay, that's kind of nice. Right. So what's the sign say? Oh yeah, we made it. Cool. All right, let's look in the grass. See if we can find anything in there. Found something decent. Wingle. How are you? Crap, I'm gonna take you out in one hit. Uh, let's use Confuse, right? It's like the first time I've seen the wing glass, so I was like, oh, hey. <laughs> it's new. Uh, we know it's trap Pokeball. This might be a bad idea, actually. I should do like a little bit of damage. Yeah, that's close though. Wanted to send out bronze or maybe we can do like a little bit. So everyone else is gonna finish it off. Bronze or maybe we'll do like a little bit of damage without finishing off the wing ball. Unless he gets hit by the confusion here. All right, cool. <laughs> um, God, I could do heavy slam. Actually, it's not gonna be. It's like I do a ton of damage, especially because there is water. So it should be not very effective. All right, well I got hit anyway, so it's a fire. Is that a water and bug? Screw it, just use a net ball. Hopefully this will work. Cool. I was thinking I'm like, wait, it's a water type. Just using that ball. <laughs> All right, cool. So we got a Winkle. Let's see if we can find anything else in there. A blue shallows. The temptation to catch you. <laughs> yeah. Like, I only have. I'm gonna give. Uh, it's actually, I might finish you off. That's a bad decision. Did not. I was hoping that would do it. Like, I already have the pink one fully evolved. I'm like, okay, I just wanna get the blue one just to have the blue one. Who's a Pokeball, though? I was like, so close. <laughs> I 
I use confuse, right? I was hoping that would do maybe like a little bit of damage. This is a good area that I get water types. If I was actually down a water type. There we go. So far we got like a shell house and a wingle. So I'm like, okay, we could definitely get water types here. Next we'll know if I get like a Bidoof or like a Bipearl. That's another shell off. Uh, might run. Well, I'm, I'm gonna run, but... Might try one or two more times. I do want to go south. Actually, before I try one or two more times. So I can break the rock here. I think I can lather that tree with honey if I have any. I do. I do. Okay. So I guess I'll just leave that there for now. Yeah, we'll just use like one or two more times and then, uh... We'll go back. Literally, it's all water types. <laughs> Alright, we already have you two. So we don't need to catch you again. I was wondering my worst were terror. It's just gone. All right, that might be it for now. Yeah, I think that's it for now. Let's go into Pastoria. Uh, it's a long way from Veilstone. I'm exhausted. Footprints are left in the sand when you walk on the beach. Pokemon seem to enjoy leaving footprints as much as people do. Let's see what we got. Hello, city. Uh, I'm visiting the uh, the area because I wanted to see the Great Marsh. I'm staying at the Lakeside Hotel. What are you doing? So annoying. What is it? Oh, some kid with only three gem badges. Little twerps like you should know to stay out of Team Galactic's way. Now, this package from Vealstone. Or should I set it off? Yeah, this is going to be a smashing job for Team Galactic. Sounds smashing. Uh, some trainers deliberately prevent their Pokemon from evolving. They wait until the Pokemon levels up and learn certain moves. You're just like a totally impatient boy I met earlier. What? It's like you, he was very close to his Pokemon. Thanks for making me smile. This might put a smile on your face. Our fire stickers. Actually, that's something I do want to mess more around with. I've only messed around with the sticker stuff like a little bit. I gotta do more of that. I kinda like that in this game. Like they release the Pokeball and then like there's like certain effects that come out. Besides just like shiny stuff. Let's see if it's worth a scarf. This isn't what I ho hope to see. I can't lie to you, so I'll just have to tell you straight. This Pokemon's not bad, it's not good either. It's just so so want to improve the additions. Oh yeah, Poffins. Uh, my brother's girlfriend is the massage girl in Vealstone City. They take strolls with their Pokemon whenever they meet together. Uh get together. It really helps them stay close. Alright, let's actually just go to the Pokemon Center. Guess we'll do that and then take on the gym later. I am actually waiting for the the rival to pop, pop out of nowhere. Which uh, we didn't <laughs> as a request. <laughs> we, we ended up naming our rival uh, Bill Grande. So if you understand that reference, there you go. The Great Marsh is vast. How vast is it, we ask? Take a look at from the observatory. Sweet. Uh, Pastoria's Great Marsh was once part of the sea. The sea water drained away over time, leaving the huge marshland. That's why they say there are rare Pokemon that you can only see here. I do like that. Uh, what do we got here? Pastoria's gym leader is like breathtaking in a weird way. It's hard to explain. You'll know what I mean though. All right. Uh, what do we got here? Pastoria City Great Marsh.
In the Great Marsh, they use quick trams on well rails. For transportation, they prevent damage to the Great Marsh's ecosystem. Cool. All right, we gotta take out the gym. <laughs> okay, so it's water. Oh, what's your name? Like Wake or Crash Wake or whatever? Gym Leader Wake. Okay, yeah, I do. Crash or Wake. Okay, I was close. It's a master of water type Pokemon. I say you've got guts if you try to face down water types with fire or ground type Pokemon. But that part will leave up to you. Go and have some good battles. I try to remember this guy. I'm like, what's your what's your thing? <laughs> your water. Alright. Uh, so if you're water, we should bring in Luxray. Keep Torterra like in limbo around here. Uh it's pretty much Luxray and Torterra. That's all we really need. That happened. Hi. Uh my body isn't the only thing I work on toughening up here. I also work on Pokemon and my spirit. Good thing you didn't go anywhere else with that. See, so it works on it as two. Tuber Jackie. Now I hear the name Tuber Jackie. I'm just thinking, I'm like, are you like a like a YouTuber? But no, it's just, you just have the tube. All right, cool. Our train might be tougher than our own gym leader. That was one battle. All right, I don't think I really go. Well, can I go anywhere? Can I just go straight to the gym leader. Okay. I might actually raise the wire back up. At least to there. Did I come from down here? I did. Okay, so I need to lower it down. I lied. Take me now all the way down. We'll go up and around. Fight you. Boach? Crap. Hey, Torterra. <laughs> I cannot win this battle. Actually, I can probably win the battle. I'll use a bite. So, Barboach, I believe, is water ground. So, Luxury's electric attacks aren't going to do anything. Fortunately, bite worked. Well, a little too well there. The kid wins anyway. I'm just boiled down. Oh, boiled over. Yeah, it's okay, big guy. It's alright. Just give him a little pat on the head. It's alright. <laughs> uh, alright, so we made their cross. Let's go up to you. How you doing? I uh, traveled over the globe while raising Pokemon. This is the gem I've chosen. You'll find it a handful for sure. Uh, Sailor Demian. I'd say, I don't think we really fought a Sailor yet. Maybe one? I don't remember finding many Sailor trainers. It's just very weird seeing them in 3D animation. I think that's what's really throwing me off. Like this type of 3D. <laughs> and he's literally just standing there. Flexing. That's all, he, that's all he's doing. Just flexing his muscles. Flexing. Well, flexing some muscle. Just. Just flexing. Flexing away. <laughs> you flex, sir. You got this. I mean, you don't got this because you lost, but you know what? Go. Go. You got this.
Alright, let's get this wild more. I hope I didn't drown anyone. Yeah, hopefully like the tubers floating. No, they're good. Alright, cool. Wait, did I fight you? I did. Alright. Cool. Uh yep. I want to become a strong trainer like Crash or Wake. Azuril. Are you water? Oh, you're fair... Fairy water. Fairy water? I'm trying to think. I'm like, okay, I know you were normal water. I think you transformed into a fairy type. I think you're fairy water or you're pure fairy. Or you're fairy normal. I don't remember. You're not water yet. Okay. Maybe you're like fairy normal or just pure fairy. You're a water fairy. <laughs> Remember that. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm just saying your thing. I'm like, why are you again? Oh, you're too much. So let's keep on going a little bit further. Land the most fish Pokemon in the world. I'm next. Oh, what you got? Goldines. I was thinking I might match card. <laughs> Seeking. So if I was correct, <laughs> pretty sure it's only Torterra. Well, I guess Electra would still be fine, but I'll go Torterra. Go back to Luxray. <laughs> now the Reaper, which is just, it's just these two. Like sometimes it's like, okay, that one, uh, Barboach, not good with Luxray. Torterra, not good with Gyarados. <laughs> Say it goes back and forth. I think Torterra is a little bit better with Gyarados because it's like a, a wire flying. At least it can affect it. But the other one, uh, nah. <laughs> All right, cool. So that one's down. I don't think I'm going to I don't think we have much more left. Should I cut that up? Uh, or maybe not. Let's see what's in here. There we go. I think this one's going to take me to him. The thing it's going to raise it like all the way up. And then you just like sail right through.
I want that ball. <laughs> like, it's like a dive ball. That's actually a really good ball to put uh, at least the blue shell house into. Blue ball, a little bubble effects coming out of it. Pretty good. <laughs> the way to even wash my hands. Choose soap. Maybe, hopefully. Uh, yeah, that's it. So, uh, I think I'm pretty much ready to go. So I don't know who the first one's gonna be. I feel if it's Barboach, I think it would be fine. I think he has the evolution of Barboach, if I recall. All right, we'll go for it though, gym time. Uh, welcome. I don't get challenged very often. Uh, the glory you are now beholding is the Pastoria Gym Leader. That's right, I'm Crasher Wake. Uh, my Pokemon are toughened up by the stormy water, white waters. They'll take everything you can throw at them. I am so sorry about that. That made sound. <laughs> can I hit the wire on my microphone? So I was like, crap, that might have been loud. I'm sorry if it was. <laughs> uh, white waters, they'll take everything you can throw at them and pull you under. Victory will be ours. Come on, let's get it done. Okay, Gyarados. Okay, good. I was trying to think I'm like, okay, hopefully it's something good. I love this stage, actually. Now that I'm actually looking at it. Kind of gives me, like, Pokemon Stadium vibes a little bit. Alright. Let's do... We'll just use Spark. Kind of thought about Volt Switch. I think we're fine with Spark. Quagsire. Okay, that's what I was worried about. He's gonna, he's gonna have water ground types. Love me some Quagsires. Quagsires and Whoopers. Love them. All right, uh, let's go reach relief. This might be an easy one. I got Mistress to 34, Bronze or 33. Floatzel. Really? Floatzel? Okay. Uh, let's keep Torterra in. Hey, that there, that was a good move. Yeah, Floatzel. Alright. I do think I'm over leveled. <laughs> uh, let's go Razor Leaf. Damn. I was not ready for that ice fight. <laughs> Wishing to be praised. Thank you. I just won you the gym badge. Give me praise. <laughs> All right. That's good. Let's go battle. Good sweep. The gym layer awake. Oh, that's gone and ended. How uh, will I say this? I want more. I want to buy a lot more. GG's. Evolving? Bronzor! Hell yeah. It's Bronzon. I was kind of wondering when it was going to evolve. Nice. Your bronze or evolve into bronze on. Love it. Get some ring clouds, but people long ago revered as the bringer of plentiful harvest. Let's learn block. Uh, I don't know, let's see. Nah. <laughs> My area had mischievous with mean look. <laughs> Such a odd Pokemon evolution. It really is. 
It seems Undertow pulled me under, but I have a great time battling with you. You've earned this. All right, we're four badges down, though. I felt like getting to the third badge was very long, but again, these last two were very quick. I need the Fat Fen badge to use the hidden move the Fog from your Poke Watch. These are special reward for me in recognition of your team's power. Stickers. And... TM55. What move? The Fog? Brine. I place double damage on targets with less than half their HP left. Use it then battles decisively. Brian's a good move. Uh, maybe not for for uh, Gastrodon, <laughs> but it's a good move. Actually, maybe. Let's Gastrodon just learns it. Uh, I'm I'm already happy with Water Pulse. Okay, a special attack is better. Yeah, it took me around 11 hours to get to the third batch, and then I had the sixth batch, and a few hours later. I just remember, like, just doing that now, going from, like, third, third to fourth, was, like, a definitely, like, a two-hour period. It, it did not take long. Try exploring Bastoria. All right, we're waiting for, like, a cutscene. Should grab these berries. I'm always grabbing berries. <laughs> I see them, I'm just like, I just need to plant them before I forget. Uh, I would. Anything I'm low in, berry wise, I'm always picking. Or at least free planting. Uh, let's go, uh, prism. I do know that prism. E. Yeah, it's the only thing I just realized is just at least doing like the end plants or crops. They kind of get like the left one and the right one next to it, sort of. Which is kind of nice. Here where I am standing, I'm smack dab in the middle of town. Nice. Team. Uh, someone in the Great March offered me a technical machine containing a hidden move by the client. I don't need it because the gym leader will use the fog for us if we ever need a city. Wait, we told you that? Someone in the Great Marsh. Okay. I'm thinking I need to go to the Great Marsh. <laughs> I leave town? I can. I've honestly never planted any berries just to steal them all. I get to the point where I'm just like, I need to replant them. I don't know why. It's just in my brain. I've been hiking all over around Sinnoh region. I love planting berries wherever I go. Exhibit A. <laughs> person right here also likes to plant berries and she'll even give me one Colbert uh, my sister gathered berries every day please come visit again we cook the berries too we mix them up they're yummy make poffins yeah so I remember when the berries were like a big thing in this game or was it the last game the third and fourth gen I think berries were like huge just for like the contests you know about Burmese and how they come in different forms? You have all forms of them, Burmese? I don't even have one. <laughs> Burmese are an interesting, interesting example. They hint at how the environment can shape people's personalities. Uh, okay, what you got? Have you been to the Pokemon Mansion? The owner, Mr. Backlot, likes to brag about his rare Pokemon. I think I need to get to the Great Marsh next. I'm gonna heal first. <laughs> It's been a bit. It's like a whole gym <laughs> without healing. I'm like, let me at least go heal. So our only evolved Pokemon we don't have right now is Mischievous. If I get a Dust Stone, I can evolve it. I think I also want to make sure like, I have a moveset that I'm happy with before I evolve Mischievous. Uh, the package finally came from the Vealstone Warehouse. So now it's my job to deliver this to the lake. This is an important mission, no failure allowed, no making boo-boos like wandering off into the Great Marsh. You were eavesdropping. I was just talking loudly to myself. <laughs> but I wasn't in a hurry, I pulverized you with my Pokemon, but I have to get on my way to the Lake Gates after. Lucky I'm out. 
I won't listen up, you. Don't you dare follow me. All right, so let's go ahead and follow. <laughs> Persistent pest. If our plan works, our boss's dream comes closer to fruition. Our boss's ideal world is going to be created. So I'm not going to waste my time on a nobody like you. I'm telling you now, don't you go chasing after me. All right, so let's go cheat. Oh, okay, there. Spell Grande. <laughs> Uh, whoops. I'm not always going to plow you into you every time we meet. Alright, so shit. Uh, so how's it going? <laughs> Buffing up your Pokemon, eh? I'll test you and your Pokemon and see how buff and tough you are. Alright. Just gonna tell our rival, just be like, listen, someone's running away with something. <laughs> Should probably go chase after him first. Feels so bad. I'm like, he's hurt. he only has a Starly still. Let's use Volt Switch. Like, I know I'm going to be switching out. I just don't know what to. Uh, I guess I should have waited. That's fine. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> bring out Luxury again. All right. <laughs> Let's go Star Raptor. Faisal. Let's uh, eh, just stick with Star Raptor. <laughs> just avoid it via your shout. Kind of like the anime now, where Ash is just like dodge and the Pokemon actually dodges. That's how it kind of feels a little bit. Monferno. All right, let's get uh, let's get Gastrodon out there. I'm really liking this team we have now. Love that Pokeball effect with the uh, stickers. Zelia, I think it's the last one. Let's go. Let's do bronze arm. Why not? Why not? <laughs> yeah, I can tell you reached your Pokemon to be tough. Alright, two extra sensory. Ooh, this could be bad. Alright, we're good. Grass not always terrifies me. Yeah, we're good. What just happened? You're telling me I lost. It's okay, Bell Grande. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, maybe you did get a bit tougher since last time. They even shocked me a bit. So yeah, I got beat because I was careless. So hey, what was that Team Galactic guy all freaking out about? Don't know what he's up to, but you should chase him down. If you're not a Pokemon, you like to run like that, you're a bad guy. All right, next time, I'm gonna hold him back. Yeah, I guess we should probably, you know, chase after him before we get really interrupted. Is this at the Great Marsh? Oh, the lake probably. Yeah, let's do that actually really quick. Yeah, my guy just remembers exactly where the guy just... Oh, wait, you're right here. <laughs> Maybe the energy from the valley wouldn't work to make this. I would take a scientific genius to make something like this. Therefore, our boss who made this is a scientific genius. Okay, we're eavesdropping. I was just thinking out loud. You're a persistent pest, and I'm entirely running away, but I'm not going to waste my energy knocking you around. Out waste his energy. I didn't even think about it, like walking right by him. I was like, oh yeah, he's right there. <laughs> the uh, grunt.
There you are again. Why am I running like this anyway? A new universe the boss is talking about. It's giving me goosebumps thinking about it, so we use this. You were eavesdropping. I was only talking to myself. You're persistent too. I'm pooped out from all the running. I'm not gonna battle you. It's very persistent. So he's telling me I'm persistent. He's very persistent. All right, I think he's officially getting out and tired out here. Ah, uh, no, you're still on my tail. The lake's within sight. You leave me no choice. My Pokemon will knock you out. Spark. That should do it. <laughs> Is that the only Pokemon? Yeah, it was. Okay. I <sighs> did. If I didn't, really could have battled harder. I was like, I don't know how many Pokemon you even have. Can't battle anymore. I'm running on fumes. I have to give this to the commander. I wish I got to use it on the lake. He's like slowly walking away. Hey, Cynthia. Oh, long time no see. How's your Pokedex filling up? I came to research the folklore about the lake, but well, it doesn't appear as if the lake is open to the public now. I've heard the folklore about it. They say there is an island inside the lake and that a mysterious Pokemon resides there. The one must enter the chamber of that Pokemon. Sorry to change the subject, but have you seen the group of Psyduck on Route 210? Yep. Yep, that's right. By the cafe on 210. I've seen that group of side deck huddle with their heads in their uh, hands. Anyway, what you should do, do what you should do, is use this medicine on the side deck. We're working on a poke deck, so it should be worthwhile for you. Sweet. I went on a big adventure with a Pokedex when I was younger. It may help you uncover the secret behind the mysterious Pokemon you're searching for. I hope you get to meet every kind of Pokemon there is to see. See you later. Can I go into the lake area? The next to keep everyone out of the lake, reason, I'm not sure. All right, so they literally just won't let me go. All right, cool. Uh, let's go back to, I guess we're going back to 210. Because I think I have to go to select Celestic Town. There's only two, two or four gems left. I think two, four. So I'm thinking like, this is probably a gem, that's a gem, the ghost lady I think was a gem, and then Snow Point, I think that's it. There's another gem somewhere. I don't know. I know we're doing pretty good on gems. We did explore a lot. Uh, I think I'm good on healing. Uh, yeah, I'm good. I'm fine. I was thinking about, eh, no, we'll just heal just in case. I'm like, ah, eh, we could. Nah, let's just heal. Alright. Time we got. So I think what I'm gonna do. I think I'm actually gonna wrap here. Uh it's almost eleven. It's getting a little late. I do plan on playing this more in the morning tomorrow, because I actually kinda wanna play during a daytime in this game, which I have barely have done. Well to be playing this game at night, but I kinda wanna play this during the day. I think I'm gonna do, we're gonna be doing like an early uh, stream tomorrow, probably around like 11 Eastern time. We're gonna do more Pokemon and I don't know, just wanna play more daytime. <laughs> just to see how everything is. But yeah, we're gonna wrap here. So thank y'all for watching. If, as I'm realizing I have now shifted off my camera, but if everyone, <laughs> has been lurking and everything. I really do appreciate it.